F F this. F this. F this. Video. All right. Fuck All this, right, Mr. Folks. White. Well, well did it start though? Yeah. yeah. It, I think it did. All right, guys. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, are we live? We're live. Can you tell? Are we live? Can you hear us now? We're here. <laughs> I think we're live. What? Yeah, there's a button that says finish. All right. We're yeah, live. yeah, it's live. I just see it. I saw it in the corner. <laughs> All right, folks. Well, welcome to fucking left the good. Welcome to our this our fucking. Awesome. That's not what you said. Oh, we're not left for good anymore. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. F this. F this. F this. All right, folks. Welcome to F this. Um, <laughs> it's a special episode. I'm pretty excited here. Um, it's our Halloween episode, Happy guys. Halloween. Yeah. Happy Halloween. Happy All Hallows. Happy Halloween. I think I need a straw in here. <laughs> you need a, I need a fucking straw. Uh, I really don't think I'm going to last very long in this fucking costume. I don't think very many of us are going to last very long in these. No. It's fogging up already. We all can't see yeah. at all. Where's my nose? Is that my nose? I mean, I can barely see. Yeah. Dude, I can feel the heat coming out of my eyes when I breathe. <laughs> I'm so blind. So Chris is a shark. I'm a pug. Malcolm is a llama. I'm Jim Hopper. <laughs> Stranger things, man. Right? I'm here with some furries right now. Oh my god. What, what even is going on? We're like, gonna have seriously, fun later. Ser seriously, my, my costume name. The title of my costume is actually Daddy Shark Doot to Doot Doot. <laughs> so that's what I am. I'm, I'm a daddy shark because I'm a dad and a shark. So there you go. And I'll do to do, do do Not do. to be confused with Shark Daddy. No. <laughs> Don't confuse me with that guy at all. <laughs> at all. Don't bring it up ever again, Hopper. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. All right. I'll try not to. <laughs> all right. Uh, Kung Fu Lama. <laughs> No drama, kung fu. All right, all right. I'm 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 like in T minus like fucking five minutes. This shit's coming off. <laughs> no, I'm ready to get out of this, man. I'm ready to see you again. <laughs> Please. All right, well, so we, everyone... we gave it that the old schoolgirl try anyway. Right. And we yeah. we gave his old grandma like kung fu. Yeah. So I don't so even know. Can you hear me? No, I can yeah, hear you barely. Yeah. Barely. I don't though. know if the mic could pick you up. The mic's though. right here. So you gotta yell at Hello? 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 Okay, Hello? Well, I think they got a good look at the costumes and shit. So. Yeah, we, we, we can put it on at random point. Put, put yeah, we'll bring, it, we'll bring them back. Points. We'll bring them back. Yeah. I feel I feel like I want to drink right now, so. You guys mind if we take them off? Honest. Right? Yep. Take it off. It's gonna be really uh, hot in here. Yeah. Uh, it's getting sexy in here. <laughs> uh, oh. All right. Hi guys. I don't have to yell at you guys anymore. Oh, we could talk normally. Well, <laughs> you're probably going to yell show. later anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, just, just a fair warning. I'm probably going to get drunk after this one. Maybe, maybe not. All right. So, okay, that's better. Much better. We're, we're all good now. Welcome yeah. to F this. Welcome. Welcome. Not, not the other what I said before. We got Swanili here. What up, Swanee? Shante. What's up? Malcolm. What up? And of course, Duff. What's happening? Yo, 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 yo. What up? What up, dogs? What's up, dogs? What, what's what is up, dogs? What too is much. Up? I mean, <laughs> right. well, then, just being on the go, you know, prepping for this episode, prepping yeah. for Halloween, and uh, you know, just on the go with life. Your mustache is just it's amazing right now. Yeah, yeah. 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 I just can't even. It's Seriously. so much more better than how I was trying to do it last night. I shaved everything off, and I was like, oh, it's not bushy enough, and it was so funny. So I was like, I'm gonna shave it. <laughs> You use body mustache. He just really looks like he's about to get down for to some like Duran Duran. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. right? Yeah. He really looks like ready he's ready to get down with, hard, with his hard cock and a nice, lovely porno. <laughs> 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 
Well, I didn't want to say, but you know, I got somewhere to go after this. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. You get another shoot. shoot. <laughs> Give it a good old fucking one two right there. <laughs> so everyone's getting ready for Halloween. Yes. Including us. Yes. And so we're going to talk about some fun Halloween stuff. And I hope you guys figured out your uh, top movies and um, things like that. Um, what else? So if you guys are viewing this live on Facebook, so you found us. That's cool. Hello. Welcome to the party. If Welcome. you guys want to speak with us, which um, some of you have reached out to us um, at fbizpodcast at gmail.com. Um, Neil always handles, handles the Twitter. Uh, me, Shantae, I always handle Instagram, so you can see updates on both places. So if you're not a fan and you're not spending a lot of time on one or the other or all three, you'll find us somewhere. And then also we found that when um, people have um, looked us up on any of them, um, they're not getting us on um, Podbean, and it's F This Podcast. F this podcast dot com. Dot com. Yeah. So you can listen to us there, see our updates there, and then you can see all the information for each episode with the episode there, and you can listen there and, and poke in there too. Yeah. So you can go back in time too and listen to our sister podcast. We got old episodes that left the good on there as well. Yeah. You can see where it all started and where we learned all the ropes. Right, right. So who who else was responsible for what? You're breaking it down. You're responsible so for Twitter. So basically, oh, yeah. yeah. So Malcolm's usually handling Facebook. I'm your boy on Facebook. And yeah. then I'm on I'm on Instagram, and Neil's handling Twitter. So and I don't have no shit. No. Actually, because I'm of, the most irresponsible motherfucker <laughs> at the table. We could kind of juggle the Facebook yeah. thing. Like, we we all we all kind of jump back and forth. I, I think it should be a one of our contests. Is oh, you yeah. guys should uh, uh, kind of when we post something. Try to guess. Guess who's posting. Who's posting. Guess who's posting, yeah. Right. Just one, one guess per person. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and who, the winner of that contest will probably get a, a t-shirt or t-shirt and stickers. stickers. T-shirt and stickers. Check, Check, out. Out. Check out the <laughs> Facebook page. We posted some pictures of some t-shirt designs that we're making. And right. And stickers. Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So and pretty dope. Yeah. yeah. So pick your pick your shirt, pick your style, pick which one you want. Mm-hmm. Um, Pick maybe size. all of our, maybe all of us on one shirt, or you know, you could pick one of us. If you have a fadeies, right, right here. <laughs> so you can pick us, and then um, um, we'll be we'll be getting those shirts out to you. And so that's the thing. Tonight will be the first night where you can call in, participate, comment, participate. All participants will get stickers with our awesome girl on it. And if you participate and win then you will receive a shirt. All you have to do is comment, we'll figure it out, and we'll get your size, and then we'll get that out to you. And that's happened, so we're doing it. And I'm super excited about that because we uh, worked out all the logistics with that today. So that was really awesome. Yeah. So shout out to Raven Prince. Yes. We love you guys, out. and they always take care of us. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. This is so stoked. We all, we walk into your store today and you're like, yeah, I don't want shit. Mm-hmm. Every time. I dig it. Every That's time. That's we do. So, uh, um, we'll sign your shirt too if you want. Yeah. yeah. Just saying, just putting that out, yeah. just putting that out there. We, we can. <laughs> or you could listen to us a little bit further along and decide. Yeah, yeah, sign yeah, yeah, I don't want. No, I'm just fucking signature. <laughs> Fuck that guy. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe you don't want my signature on it. You just we want to it. Yeah, we can we can do a bunch of stuff. Or yeah. Neil can sign for all of us. There you oh, go. There we go. With his left hand. That's right. right. Yeah. 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 Or his toes. Ooh, that yeah. would be super awesome. He should he should put on lipstick and kiss them too. Oh yeah, we could kiss the fucking t shirt. Yeah. We can kiss the stickers kiss for you or something. Kiss oh. the stickers. We could rub our essence on it. Yeah. <laughs> so you can get the you can get the F this smell. Yeah. <laughs> the full experience. Mm. That's right. I'm fucking four D here. I need, we might Sorry. even get wickets. Uh, we get some love with my feet. Right get some now. wicked hair on. <laughs> dude, dude, that dog. Oh, all right. He loves, feet. he loves feet. All right. When yeah. we first, when we first <laughs> got him, when we first got him, yeah. and I'm talking to you like this big. Yeah. All right. We'd be like, come home, and we're like, where the fuck's wicked? Right. Yeah. And we wouldn't, fi- we would be able to find him. He'd be in our closet. 
And I was wearing our shoes. Like asleep in the shoes. Oh, in the wow. shoes. And it was like, inside shoes. Like we, just we'd grab up him in and we'd be like playing with him and I'm like, God, he smells like stinky feet. <laughs> <laughs> he smells like dirty socks. We have like, to give him a bath. Yeah. He smells like feet. He smells like fucking he smells like fucking blue cheese. <laughs> so let's talk about it too. So did we these are our costumes, the ones we were wearing? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, and uh, Wicket, he's gonna be a hot dog. Yeah. That's yeah, right. hot dog. You're, gonna be a so, hot dog. you're a daddy shark. <laughs> yeah. You are gonna sweep some legs, Johnny. Yeah. I'm a pug. I took it off because I was claustrophobic and panicking. I was, I needed out. I'm Sheriff Hoppers. That's right. Stranger Things. Stranger Things. Check it out. Netflix. Not to be confused with Tom Selleck, but you know it, it's fine. He no. does accept way. um ego waffle donations. I do. Right. Um. Mm. He yeah, also breakfast is an important meal of the day. Yes, sure. Yeah. And, and why not a writer? He accepts her as well. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's, what's her name in the TV show? What's her name? Oh, what is her name? Okay. Uh, uh, Myers. Yeah, hook yourself with the name. Yeah. yeah. I don't remember. I don't, know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember. Something Byers. I know the last name. Right. So what's everybody doing for Halloween? Because today's not Halloween, although this is our Halloween episode. What's everyone doing for Halloween? All right, so this is my Halloween. Because my motherfucking ass has to be an adult. Oh, uh, yeah. I have to work. Have Daddy to work. Shark has to go make some, some clams. That's right. I have to, <laughs> right? And, and of all things, to boot, it's fucking night shift. So wah, 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 wah. That's right. Bummer. But oh well. I'm here with you guys right now, what enjoying my goddamn self. Um, oh, they just cut me off. <laughs> this sheriff is going to be working that day, but I'll be in full outfit at Staples. Are you really? I, I with do. that mustache? With the mustache. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you can catch me there on Halloween. I won't be really doing much else for Halloween. Uh, I'll be doing something on uh, November 1st. I'll be going to uh, a good friend's uh, wedding anniversary. We're gonna have like a costume dinner and party. Nice. And check that out. But you won't be at our party. I can't. <laughs> I can't get the days off for it. Fuck you. <laughs> well, since you're talking about that wedding party, yeah, and we're all here sitting with them. Oh yeah. Right. So that that the wedding that he was talking about, he was explaining to us what it was, and it was a, a Harry Potter themed wedding, right? Mm-hmm. So nice. recently, both or all three of us got our fucking wands in the mail. Right. But just before so, that, Neil got his too. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so all four but of us a, are was, now wanted. Yeah, but he was on the last podcast with his wand. That's wanted, true. And now we all That's have true. our ones. So, so whose wand do you have? I have Grindelwald's. Grindelwald's? Grindelwald's. Look at that shit. It's, it's, it's fucking dope. dope as shit. And whose is yours, Malcolm? Dumbledore's. Or Grindelwald's. Or Harry Potter. Or well. Or Snape. The or thing Grant. is, guys, is or Malfoy, or Malfoy. Malcolm this has is the Elder Wand, the Elder Wand, the elder wand. which is the elder. Wand of Wands, right? Yes, that's right. So I mean, it's it, it 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 went to Grindelwald, but then it, Dumbledore got it. That's right. Yeah. So it was Dumbledore's forever. Yeah. And then Snape got it because he killed Dumbledore. Right. right? Yeah. But technically, really, it was Malfoy because Malfoy was disarmed. Yeah. Yeah. Dumbledore. So it belonged to. Yeah. So then it belonged to Mal- Malfoy. And then Harry Potter just kicked that motherfucker's little ass. Yeah. Whooped his ass, yeah. And got, and it was Harry Potter. Got so it's Harry, it. so technically, right. really, it's Harry Potter's. Yeah. Seriously, they all have some. But then he cracked it and threw it into the, into the nothingness. Well, that was in the movie. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was the movie. We don't actually know. No, so no. actually, now Malcolm has the Elder Wand, and so, yeah. he's looking for so, the, uh, uh, the other yeah. hollows currently. So we're going to be very careful <laughs> right. when we're waving our wands around, because... We're not um, gonna say the curse shit, my words down. With, um, yeah. We don't wanna, you know, I don't shit here. I don't wanna I don't wanna no puke words. fucking slugs. I don't wanna go to heaven <laughs> for using magic in the world of muggles, okay? Right. We don't have any bone grow on hand, right? <laughs> <laughs> so we don't have any And whose wand is yours? Prompt. Did you say yours? No, I'm no. Luna. What's it? Luna Lovegood. Fuck yeah. And I like her because um she is very um imaginative. And open and kind and pretty awesome. And I feel like if I was going to be in this series, I would definitely be like her bestest friend. Right. So I got Luna's. She's my favorite. I'd be Cho's best friend. You're just hot for Cho. <laughs> 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 
Yo, Oliver said I, that pug mask is... He said it's vulgar. Vulgar. <laughs> oh, I mean, pugs are pugs. What do you want? That's what they look like. I put a bow on it. I mean, come on. It reminded me of pickles from BoJack Horseman. I love pugs. <laughs> as soon as I saw it, I was like, that's me. That's what's happening. So, I got serious black swan because... Yes. Gary Oldman is one of my favorite actors. Like In this guy world. can disappear into his roles completely. And he, he did serious black some like serious justice, justice. with it. Like, Seriously, that was some so, serious shit. Serious, yeah. serious, serious. <laughs> I love it. Right, so, so guess what that is? It's repugnant. Repugnant. <laughs> <laughs> the reason why we all made sure to have ones too is that um, Christopher and I. Um, my birthday just passed, and then Christopher's birthday is coming up. So we decided to have a joint birthday this year, because normally we don't celebrate our birthdays. And so we're going to have a birthday bash, and it's Harry Potter themed. Yes. So we got prayer. everyone's prayer. coming over, and we're going to have amazing Harry Potter food, and Harry Potter fun, and just be total nerds together. And so I hope the people that, um, that got <laughs> invites and stuff, I hope everyone makes it, because I'm so excited. You got an RSVP or an SHIT or your HEAD. Oh, look at that. Fuck it. Magic. Whoa! Nice. He's got skills. All right, Nanda says. Nanda wants to know what the F this smell smells like. That's a good question. What does it smell like in here? A little bit of heaven. A little bit of spice. A little bit of hell, a little bit of heaven, a little bit of everything in between. What's that black candle called? Nah, it's called like Midnight Moon or something. Yeah, it's like, it's like it smells like it a fan. Like, it, sound, it smells like it smells like it smells like, smells like, it, smells like it smells like porno sex. No, <laughs> uh, it smells like sex in here. No, it does not. So, no, it does not smell like Thai food in here. I'm sorry. Ew, come on, <laughs> you guys. It does the not. Midnight Moon smells lovely. It smells delicious. It smells like um like a clean man, but a fresh clean. Man. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like, 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 like a man. Though. Not, I like, don't know. Not like a little little boy spraying <laughs> himself with a yeah. bunch of shit ton of axe and like. It like not like Rio or. It's hard to no. say. I don't know what I mean. No, we get it. Amanda said she'll find out this weekend because she's gonna come. Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there she's, we go. She's gonna come, right. and the house is gonna smell yep. like spicy baked goods and magic. Right. Rachel said some of us are coming unarmed. Oh no! Without so, a wand. No spell casting. Mm -mm, can't make that promise. Don't attack right. muggles. <laughs> I swear to God. You better find your wand. Something. Replace it. Oh. You could get like a, a, a stick. I see. I just get a stick out of the bush. Like, like, right right like Grindelwald's wand is so badass because it looks like it's a, like a, a <laughs> stick that was like. It's or it looks like thorns. a bark that was like stripped off of a yeah. stick. Yeah. It has like really badass thorns. It's got it. girth to it. It's yeah. girthy. Uh, what it looks like is that it's just a really fucked up rose rose branch. We should yeah. actually find out what his wand is made of. Made of. Yeah. We should find oh, that that's out. That's a good book. Anybody. Everybody. All of us. That's we should all I charge you with that task. Find out what his wa fucking wand's made of. Yeah. Because be we, cause we, cause we, we know Harry Potter's wand was made of a, fe uh, uh, a phoenix feather, feather right? Mm -hmm. And we know <laughs> but Rachel said she's just gonna bring him on a fucking stick. There we nice. go. Yeah. No, just write Harry yeah. Potter on the stick. Yeah. And, just and you know what's funny? Is... Just write Rachel on the stick. Right. Yeah. Well, it's funny because not we're not wearing costumes and stuff too. We're totally just coming and we're just gonna hang out. We were gonna do it crazy, but we just we just ran out of time really getting ready yeah. for Halloween orders and everything. So, so everybody who's coming to like, don't worry about dressing up, but yeah. come and have fun. And so if you are dressing up. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. because we've got props. It's gonna be so much fun, and so just yeah. just come and have fun. If you're just gonna be here like, and be magical and be a magical creature or anything like that, that's awesome. That's like, that's the best. Like seriously, I would like if we had a fucking Halloween store, I would have went and grabbed up some fucking you know robes, and it's, I would have I would have we would have got like four robes so that when we took pictures, because we have, we have like a special picture thing situated that we would, you would have wore the robe, took a picture with it, and then that would. Pretty much basically, yeah. but it's oh. gonna be fun, and we, yeah, yeah. we got games, it's gonna be fun. Oh, yeah, I cool. heard a rumor from a certain owl that you guys were gonna have a sorting hat. Oh, is this true? <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we were, we were really wanting, and it could be any hat. 
You know what it is? It's just one of those baseball caps with the beer holder and the straws. There you go. And then we just serve shots, and then it's like, if you just whatever you say. If you can't have your shit, you're sending you to fucking Ravenclaw. You put a slouchy beanie on your head. Why do we not like Ravenclaw? No, I was going to say, I can't say Hufflepuff because Amanda's Hufflepuff. So I can't say that, but... Yeah, we won't say. No, these to... cats don't know, but I'm coming dressed as Hagrid. <laughs> <laughs> but we're gonna have snacks and and all kinds of fun stuff from the movie, like different things. So we like made a point to figure out the different fun yeah. Yeah. treats and baked things. So it's gonna be fun. Boom. But that's that. Boom. So all enough right. Harry Potter. No. Yeah, let's get on with it. Dude, okay. No, I'm not done. I was, okay, there was, go. There was a point go. There. I was gonna get to one. Chris is All right. Like, so sorry if this now became the Harry Potter podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Harry Potter <laughs> podcast. Sorry guys. We love it. We didn't it's come prepared for this. I mean, like, other than that shit always being on our TV all the fucking time, like this last month it's been on almost every day. Mm-hmm. Like it's always on. It really I'm pretty is. Sure, I'm pretty sure at some point tonight it'll be on. Oh yeah. Right? We but listen to be, the books in beyond. our car and we watch the movies. We on make love TV. to what a movie in the background. <laughs> oh my god. What are you talking about? Can you imagine the Harry Potter music? I like right? candles and I lay in the top. Magical. Yeah. But beyond that, um, I was explaining to my boss, because I was going to invite my boss over to our, our birthday. Uh huh. So I was explaining what was going on with it, and he was like, oh, it's pretty, he, was, he was like, he got, he got cool, he got a little like, excited about it. Uh-huh. He's, a he's a little bit, he's a little bit weird, a little bit like, a little nerdy. He was like, right? Yes. But Stop. we were talking about it, and then one of my coworkers, <laughs> one of my coworkers walked into the, walked into the office as we're talking about it because we were showing him pictures of our wand. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, "Oh, that's so cool!" Like he got he got pretty fucking jacked up about it. And then my coworker was like, oh, "What are you guys talking about?" And I was like, "Oh, I was just telling him about my um, my wife and I are having a birthday party together, and it's gonna be themed." And it, my coworker was like, "Straight up, oh, I fucking hate those." <laughs> <laughs> and I looked at him, and then I was like, "And I was like, yeah, I don't. It's gonna be pretty badass." And I was like, continued just talking to my boss about it, and then he's like. Just kind of standing there in the corner, <laughs> just like looking at the conversation, and then he's like, "Well, what what theme is it?" And I was like, "Oh, it's gonna be Harry Potter." And he's like, "Oh, I fucking hate that movie." What the and hell? I was like, and, oh. I was just like straight, and I was just like straight. I was like, "Yeah, I know." Dude, like, Get out of here. And I was like, I "No," we're like, I looked at him. I was like, "Yeah, I know." And then I just continued talking about the, uh, about the party with my boss. But like, my boss was. Just, it was just funny because like, it, like. He's on his way out. He's he's, he's done in the in the next couple of months. He's he's moving back to Australia or whatever. But um, like, the more I work on day shifts, the more we talk about other shit other than work. Like it's not just about work anymore. Mm-hmm. Like it's becoming we're really, like becoming slowly more and more and more and more like pals. Well, he's peacing out, so he's getting way yeah. like chill. <laughs> he's getting more way more chill. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's <laughs> checked. He's already checked out like fucking two months ago. Those are like the best but moments. That's that yeah. end of the road loving. Yeah, end of the you, road hate, love. you hate everybody until you get to the end of the road and you're like, fuck, I love you guys. Right. right? <laughs> yeah, so, uh, my manager that helped you guys at the oh, yeah. guild. So, like, if you believe it or not, he's I'm probably Linda. he's a fan of us. Yeah, yeah. and he's also like. Pretty huge Harry Potter fan. Like, he embarrassed Malcolm earlier. I, I, I was talking to him about it. Like I, I talked to him about it a few times. But he he like, straight up has like the robe. He straight up has like a bunch of other things with it too. Like, I feel like, like he's young, huh? he's pretty big into yeah, why it. Why should invite him? Yeah. Just... Well, because Neil's not even coming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. Neil. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was funny because we're checking out, and What's he goes, he, What did he say? He's like, oh. oh, there's celebrities in the store today. Yeah. And we were like, <laughs> I was like immediately <laughs> uncomfortable. And yeah. then I thought, Does he mean num nums or does he mean the podcast? What does he mean? <laughs> and then um, and then he was saying, Oh, yeah, I hear about the podcast. And I was listening to the podcast, and I'm like, Oh my God. That's even more embarrassing. Like, he's just listening. Shout out to you, Andrew. So thanks, guys. Thanks, guys, for acknowledging the podcast. And you know what? It's really awesome, and it's just really hard to, like, um, get used to. Yeah. Mm. People we don't know saying things or staring at you in public, too. That happens to me where people stare at me, and I'm like, I have no idea who that is. They just, like, fangirl over, and they're like, oh, my gosh. That's the person that was on that podcast. Like, yeah. say hi. and I'm like, that's kind of fun. That's really cool. Out in the wild. Mm. But Malcolm was like, gosh, now I don't even want to do the podcast. It's so embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> but 
But what's really awesome, you he guys, says is as that he pulls his sharpie out, ready to sign. Right? Can you, can you sign my boobs? Yeah. What's awesome is you sign my ass. Yeah. So we're getting emails, we're getting comments, we're getting participation, and you guys, it's awesome because yeah. it, everything that you guys do with us makes this better. It you makes make it show. fun. Yeah. So. And, it, you know, every topic and all that, and the more you guys add, the more content and the more, you know, in-depth we get in the next episode. And it just, we we all play off each other, so it's just making it great. Yeah, let's let's talk about the phenomenon of being uncomfortable when people recognize you. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, <laughs> who is this guy? It happens all the he time. Looks dehydrated. Because, and then He's I've been um, teaching classes for, like, the last five years here yeah. and there's sometimes and I feel bad about it where people know me because I've delivered cakes to them or I've taken orders for them but the, the, the whole process I never actually saw the person in real life yeah. and then Chris will deliver the cake so I know I never spoke to this person really in real life yeah. no, like, and then I see yeah. them in public and they're like oh hi how's it going and I'm just like oh hi hi <laughs> yeah oh you know how's it going what are you, what are you doing and I ask like a general question and I'm like I have no idea who this person is no, like seriously, like I'll be horrible. randomly, I'll be like randomly walking around the store. I've never <laughs> even delivered cakes to these fucking people, <laughs> right? But I'll be wa- walking around in the grocery store, and someone will come up and be like, "Oh, hi, Christopher." Yes. And I'm like, "Who in the fuck?" And are it's even you? weirder for Chris because people don't talk to Christopher, and he doesn't no. talk to anybody. No. And so and that's, it's just funny too because people think that he doesn't like people because of that, but it's not. He's just doesn't. He's just not as crazy as me. Like I stop and talk to people all over the place all the time. Oh my god, I did, you guys. Face. The other day I stopped. I we delivered a cake. It's called and resting I gave the person the cake. I, I gave the person the cake. I gave the cake to somebody, and like I never made an order for this person, but for some reason I'm like, yeah, here, have fun, take pictures, and I gave her a hug. I like send her on her way, and I got in the car and I told Malcolm, "Did I just hug that person? <laughs> I don't know that person. I've never done a cake for this person." And I was just like, "Yay, love! Here, have some." It was just crazy. I'm just so just like hugging strangers these days. Oh well, yeah. <laughs> What's up with that? I can't say that. Love I've in the right place. Experience that. But like, I'm a very forgettable face. I can't really say much to the subject. I can only speculate as to like how that would feel. I I do weird shit like that. I don't get anxiety when it's like that. Like people come and ask me things. Oh, your hair is pretty color. How did you do that? And I do those kind of one on one things. Just but large groups, away, like, large groups like Disneyland, ugh, my skin is just, ugh, I can't, ugh. anxiety, yeah. I feel oh, sick of myself. Do you all the voices in yeah. your skin? Being yeah. recognized doesn't bother me. It, it maybe it feels a little embarrassed, but mm-hmm. I don't get like, I don't get like anxiety. Like I'm like, oh yeah, let's talk about it. Let's <laughs> talk about you know me and whatever. I'm but sure like it like bothered almost... you, right? Yeah. It totally bothered yeah, me. I got very uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. It's weird, right? Yeah, yeah, How yeah. we all respond to these different things like that. I, yeah, I, I, almost, I almost have issues with the four of these fuckers at the table. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I get it, get it, get it, get it. Any more people at the table, I, I, I start feeling a little bit more uncomfortable. Yeah. Meeting, meeting new people. Even if it's just one person. Me. hate meeting new people. Right? Yeah. We made a new it's friend hard. recently, and Christopher even expressed to me on the way home, like, I felt like I was trying to be something because i was worried about this person because it was a new person i never met before yeah right and that. that surprised me it never even occurred to me because i never thought that christopher would get anxiety about meeting a new person even though he's with his two best friends at the time hmm. and he had anxiety i get that like i mean like whenever my friends introduced me to like new friends and we're hanging out i'm like oh okay how do i want like i become self-conscious about how i feel and act around Mm -hmm. them so i'm like oh i don't want to come across as a doofus but then i don't want to come across also as like a stuck-up prune (laughs) right (laughs) yeah yeah yeah. so it's like okay uh maybe i'll just hang out with somebody i know in this gathering here for a minute until you know i loosen up a bit (laughs) i think that people when they come across me i think they might think i'm fake or obnoxious 
even. But I really am just like nice and happy to meet and people. I'm I am obnoxious. <laughs> I totally am. And it, yeah. I think it's funny because I feel like I'm like a puppy. Like, come play with me. I'll talk to me. Well, and I, I feel like I am maybe too much sometimes. Like most of the people that you meet, they're pretty like chill and laid back. And you got this energy about you. Yeah, I kind of like conform either, to situations. Yeah, you either you either pick the room up, you pick the people up, pick their spirits up right away, or you're just overwhelming. If they're not used to that, right? Right. When yeah. I used to be... And not um, just you, but people... In, in retail, I used to be a manager, and um, my the store, the actual store manager used to tell me, oh, you're the cheerleader of the group. You're the one that's going to get everybody hyped. So you're going to do the meeting for the morning and you're going to get everyone pumped for whatever's happening. And so that they always said that you're the cheerleader one, right. which is funny because I'm not, but I am. Yeah. I'd like, maybe I think, <laughs> maybe I like to think that there. I'm not, yeah. but I totally am. Just push yourself out there. If you're uncomfortable. With I'm it, a pusher. Yeah. I push people. Yeah. <laughs> Can you please just up. take the happiness already? I'm giving it to you on a plaque. <laughs> make me force feed. I will make you cookies, okay? <laughs> and I will make you smile. <laughs> and heroin. I will All get you cooked. <laughs> on heroin. The rock. Uh, we, got, we got John Smith dropped in. Alicia dropped in. We got a lot of good people. Yo. Hi, guys. Hi, fam. Oh, John oh, wants to know when oh. you got a mustache, Neil. Hey. So, um, he like... Wants an hour ago. <laughs> an Just hour ago. It grew in an hour, hour ago, ago John. Yeah, right. <laughs> you should have seen it last night. It was it was much more worse last night. <laughs> we put some miracle grow on there. I, I, I maybe sent like pictures to maybe. a handful of people, and then like 10 minutes after that, I'm like, no, nah, I'm not keeping it. <laughs> Partially because yeah. I had to go to work. He shaved, he shaved this morning, but it's right there back. Oh, no, no. I shaved last night. And, <laughs> My coworkers were joking with me about being like 20 years younger after it. So I was like, ugh. And then one of them was like, you look like you've grown How like the you whole are, day. <laughs> it is weird. It is, you know, I'm not saying it's weird, but it is weird. When Chris shaves his beard, he looks like a totally different person. Mm. You shaved, and then I saw you today. I was like, whoa. Who even <laughs> are you? <laughs> Who even is this? <laughs> Who even? <laughs> I can't even. Neil. I think if Malcolm Neil shaved, I think I would probably have a stroke. Yeah, I would have a stroke. Don't do I, it. I, I, I don't know. Does it's, your sensei let I you think, have a beard? Or you're just like, fuck it, I don't care. That's all. It's part of my religion, says. sensei. I can't shave it. Sorry. Right? Just like, tuck it in your gi then. You know? <laughs> Wear a hairnet before you spar <laughs> with somebody. Yeah. 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 They make beard nets. Beard while you're sparring, I remember. Man. Right? Mm -hmm. I think if you shaved my beard off, I'd probably die. Yeah. 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 I'm certain. A complete yeah. imbalance. Like, yeah. you would just fall over and die Everything like would a would be wrong with the universe. That's right. All the I would never wish that upon you. My world no. would end. Yoda would oh. no longer exist. The world, the world as we know it would end if that happened. Right. Right? It's like crossing yeah. the streams in Ghostbusters, man. Yeah. Yeah. Don't cross the streams ever. No. That's right. Not even one pissing. <laughs> Not even once. What about Not gingerly even touching Not tips? Not even twice. Yeah, there you gingerly go. touching tips. tips is okay. Tippy, 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 tippy. Tip, tips, tips and balls. <laughs> Two kin, little bit Don't touch with the thorns, babe. Little bit of this. Right? You like that? Mm. Touch your tip. And like everyone yeah. has its thorn. What's up, Corey? <laughs> What's Corey up? How's it going? So, what's up? What are we going to do next? All right. F this week. F oh. it. Oh. <laughs> Fuck. Are we talking about effing things? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Do you have We're an effing complaint? Things. Yeah. Um, I, not I, that, that's going to lead into mine, so I'm not going to talk about mine. Oh, yeah. Right. Can you right. just... Does anybody yeah. have anything yeah. this week? Oh. What happened, guys? Yeah. Uh... <laughs> I don't really yeah, have anything to be like uh, after this at all. I mean, no? I've had a pretty good two weeks. <laughs> nice. Yeah, since yeah. the last time you hung out? Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah, it's been a pretty fantastic two weeks. It's been two weeks? It's yeah, man. Weeks? Wow. I had a, yeah. I had I a dry chocolate cake. Oh, yeah. And you know what, That's you guys? I think this is like the second or third time in my life. Yeah. I had a That's dry a chocolate cake. And it like just it was brought to my attention, and I just have to fix it, and I gotta figure it out, and so I'm figuring it out, guys. Sort your shit out. I man. am. I'm freaking doing something wrong. I we never get complaints about chocolate cake. Ever. So Why are you F like chocolate this? cake. Why yeah, am I F like this? Maybe it's the cocoa. Maybe it's the cocoa. 
coffee. Who knows? Maybe it's the weather change, man. You know, <gasps> you know what? The weather has changed. Yeah. It was like negative two this morning. Yeah. Dry mm. shit. It's dry Everything shit. Everything is yeah. dry. I definitely felt that. My skin is dry. My life is dry. My apartment was fucking cold this morning. My champagne is dry. Well, let's not go there. Ew, bitch. <laughs> so, maybe that's it. See I don't my know. breath when I woke up this morning. If, in your room? Yeah. If you're listening to ah, this and yeah. if you ever get you a, a, a cake no. that's <laughs> dry or something is wrong, oh my god, please tell me. I will fix it. I will fix it. F this. F cake. Oh, dude, no. Okay, okay. Okay, this okay so this this is completely entirely separate from what I have. Are you really? Are you going into it? No. no, no. Okay. Um, <laughs> don't. Um, Do it, babe. Yeah. All right, so I've been working night shifts, so things get a little fucking rough around night shifts for me. I get, like, maybe two to three, to maybe the tops four hours of fucking sleep. He is a grumpy gills, for right? sure. So it, it becomes a little difficult when we have a run-from-home business, mm-hmm. right? Because when I, on my days off on night shift, I just want a day off. I don't want to fucking do anything. I, I want to veg out. I want to hang out with my kids. I want to hang out with my fucking wife. But we but never, <laughs> never, we ever. never get to. So like this fucking like I just finished night shift yesterday morning. Uh-huh. We were running around all fucking day yesterday for cake shit, and then once again running around all day today for cake shit, and then <laughs> this is my chill time. My chill time is with you fucking guys. You know what I mean? So I'm just like I'm just like, all Thanks, right, babe, for chilling with all of us. I'm just like, f this. <laughs> <laughs> I want a legit day. I mean, That's me too. Same. I don't, yeah. we, I haven't had a day off. It's just been, go, 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 go. It's been classes, orders, customers, and it's holiday time, so it's Halloween time. Fuck There's always holidays. special fun things going on, and so I'm always running around. And then he has his days off, and then I'm like, I need you to do this. I need to do that. And then do this too. And then I'm like, thanks, babe. Yeah. And then I'm like, stop being grumpy. <laughs> He's so <laughs> tired. He's so tired, and I'm so thankful. I got one. I just thought of one. Okay. It reminded me. So, my everyday commute to work, I always leave about 40 to 45 minutes before I actually start. Mm-hmm. It takes me about 15, 20 minutes to get to work. But you like I, to lollygag? Well, on the way to the <laughs> <I guess. laughs> Because I, I, I partially play Pokemon Go on the way, so I'm like, oh, Are you a catching Pokemon. Pokemon on the way to work? I yeah. am. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, so I do that on my commute to Timmy's and then to work. Mm-hmm. And it's just this whole week, I, you know, I leave 45 minutes before I'm supposed to start. I get to Timmy's and it's like, <laughs> I'm not really blaming like the workers or the customers. It's just, it sucks when the situation and you get there and it's like, huh, they look like they're short staffed and like, there's a huge lineup inside. There's a huge lineup in drive through mm-hmm. and then I'm waiting like, 15, 20 minutes for my coffee. What do you normally order? Just coffee? I just get, I usually get coffee. Uh, I get a extra large dark roast double double. Yeah. Because I need all that to like live, live mm-hmm. to function throughout the day. Do exactly. not, do How do you feel about grouchy. Starbucks? You mean human? Dude, at that point, it's not even coffee. <laughs> right? <laughs> Why don't you just How put do a you bowl feel on about it? Starbucks though? Because you're don't... going to Timmy's on the other side, right? I oh, am, yeah, but like, I don't know what their pricing is Ugh. for it, and I pay like two fifty for my coffee. Well, maybe let's research that. Let's get you a better cup of Joe well, and a I'll, shorter, faster maybe, line. Maybe that's what I'll try. I'll try. There's, I'll there's, try there's also Starbucks. Because there's also you're just Xander's crossing right the there. street. Oh yeah, there's Xander's. You know what? Hey, Xander's. Xander's. I've Xander's. got lots of friends there what's too, Xander's? and it's on the same side of the street what's you're Xander's? walking on, right? What's yeah. Xander's? I, I, I know Xander's. Some people. Okay, Xander's is a coffee shop that is right next to the hotel there in Terrace, across from. Oh, is it Daisy? Right beside Daisy. Oh, right beside Daisy yeah. downstairs. Yeah. yeah. And they have lots of amazing baked goods, coffee, drinks, and other things. Locally owned. Yeah. I love their their London fogs. If there you I go. if I want a London fog, See? I'll stop in there and get it. So, what is that? What is that? It's so, a tea. so it's a, it's a, uh, Earl Grey tea. I think it's like steamed or, or something. I don't know the exact process, but like it's delicious. It's fantastic. Idea. I've got a couple friends who are in this lug- London fog. London fog. So maybe that's Long what I'll do Halloween you when I go drama. to work. I'll stop in at Xander's and get a London fog. I think you need to. And you know what? And be like, f this, sent me. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Do that. That's Do that. Go drop it. One of my friends here, here we go. works there. If, we're, if you're in Terrace, amazing things. If you're in Terrace, be like, hey, go to Xander's. Go to Xander's. 
Tell yeah. them F this podcast. Send you there. Yeah. Right. I don't know why I tell them that, but tell or them that. Or numbnets, too. Or numbnets. We're all bros there. Yeah. yeah. So go there. Get yourself something awesome, because they're really awesome people. Just they are, it. and it's a fantastic atmosphere there. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you sit Great back, above. chill, Hang have a little board bit. games if you're into that. Wave your wand around. <laughs> I'm not talking about your dick. I'm talking about a real wand. Get with the program. Jesus yeah. Christ. What if I wanted to do that, though? Can't and you know that. what? For me, too, in That'd Kitimat, right. in Kitimat, because sometimes the, the Tim Hortons here is just ridiculous. <laughs> Go dumb. over to, um, is it called Dolce? Verona now? Cabana? Mm-hmm. Dolce Verona, I think. I think it, Dolce but it Cabana. used to be Constant Cravings, and it's next to the Pyramid Office Supply, and they have oh, amazing is, coffee, mm, amazing mm, baked goods, amazing, right, like, right. quiches and things like that. Mm. Um, um, our bestie, Cherie, she works over there and should go downstairs to get quiche all the mm. time. Okay, we got some amazing sandwiches. Though. Yeah, quiche, yeah, amazing sandwiches. Oh. And, but just, they are good people, awesome people. They always talk to me. They're always nice. And they have amazing coffee. Jesus topic. Christ, suck their dick some more. Hey, local businessman. Oh, yeah. yeah. Get Support it. your local businesses. Local. Um, yeah. Right. Yeah. These are the people that are keeping you awake. That's right. And these are the people that are supplying you. And they're giving and you food that's real food. And, and that I Stickers. appreciate that. Stickers and t-shirts. Yeah. And real people. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah. So do you Malcolm. have an F this, Malcolm? Malcolm. Um, uh, I am on the other end of Sober October. Ooh, so he is almost out. He's so mm-hmm. there. Three Three days. Days. Do you just really want a beer? Is that what it is? That's all I can think or about right now. Which one? Some scotch. That's all I can think of. Glenn Fiddick or some Glenn Levitt? Yeah. So that's my F this. It's just, uh, I think, I don't know. I don't know. I'll, I'll probably do it again next year. Yeah. But I, I don't know. It was kind of of lonely, though, because I'm the only one who did it. I know. I'm sorry about that, but there's just too much. Next year, year next year, guys. The temptation was great. I'm sorry. We're going to start a a group of people. I am a bad friend, but I am not. If any of you want to join Sober October with us next year, I I think a few of us will probably do that. Sober October 2020, come talk to me. We'll set this we'll shit up. We'll do it. Yeah, make it a competition. But we should do the whole thing. Like, we should yeah. work out, eat right, and not drink. It'll be oh, yeah, that's another thing is that. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was supposed work to. Work out. <laughs> I was supposed work to. Work out. <laughs> I was supposed to work out every day for the month, but I think I probably got like maybe 12 days in a yeah. month. So I'm pretty disappointed in that. We've been very busy, though. And my diet's been shit. Life's been crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So. Life has been Life. like lots of wah, wah, friends wah. and they, and family and things changing and, and just lots of things going on. That's for sure. And there's always something, right? Oh yeah. yeah. But you know what? He sat at what is it called? The Skeena Bar. Yeah. Oh we, yeah. He sat Skeena. at the Skeena Bar and did not have a drink while we ate mountains of nachos and drink. uh, and had <laughs> drinks. Dude, I've, I've sat with yeah. friends while they drank and I never touched anything. Oh, and they asked me if I wanted. But when anything. Malcolm sets to goal, he sticks to it, and I'm yeah. proud of him for that. I'm and mad at my word. You've got what? Two more days? Yes. Two more days. Strong no results. drinks. Thank you. So, I'm just veering off this. So, <laughs> <laughs> eventually, eventually, you're going to be looking that way. I know you're around. That's what I don't know, man. The next one's going to be I can actually probably hear you better the other way. Yeah. <laughs> Talk out of your eyes. It compels you. Like, oh, God, I'm just slowly going that way. <laughs> so, we're going to have a, cel- a, celebra- a celebratory drink for our birthday party? Yes. yes. All right. Yeah. All right. We're gonna have several celebratory drinks for our birthday. So, I, I so we effed it up. We <laughs> talked about f this. We effed up our our two weeks, right? Yeah. I think I broke it down. We broke it down. And uh, so, are we gonna urban it? Yeah. Urban right. word of the day. Urban right. word of the day. So the urban word of the day, folks, is great candy. Uh oh, trouble word, trouble word. Uh oh, trigger word, trigger word right there. Candy, like holy fuck. What do you think it is? Tell me about candy. Fuck. Rape candy. The trigger word being candy, like holy Christ. Okay, so what is it? That's deep shit, right? Urban word of the day, rape candy. Yes. What is it? You tell me. What is it? Tread carefully. Mm. I don't know. We're still in this me too thing, man. (laughs) Are we? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, we might be. I don't know. 
We're in an yeah, offended culture. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> We're de- definitely it's still in an offended culture. So if you're talking, about, talking about talking about rapes a little, it's a deep subject. <laughs> what is it? If you're not ready to hear this, you should tune out right now. No, it's it ain't, yeah. No, don't tune out. It's fine. <laughs> okay. What is All it? Right. What are you guys' ideas? Okay, okay. No I'm idea. just gonna say I have no idea. I, it's that old um, conservative argument for people who get raped. So rape candy will be like an outfit you wear that appeals to a rapist. Okay. Okay. That's my so guess. So what you're saying is it might be somebody who just for, for, for like somebody for, who somebody who would be a rapist would say oh. That's the one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. All right. What are we good? I agree with Neil. Yeah. What are we good? That's the only direction I, you could go in, really. Because honestly, what the hell else could it be? There it is. See. Is it like a roofie? There it is. Oh my See, god. See, there you go, Rick. Is that <laughs> no, what it is? No. Oh my god, everyone's going to be so scared. Everyone's going to be so mad. Okay, go. All right. All right. If we're going to go to hell, let's go and hand it. Oh god. So. Rape candy is the generic Halloween you get that has no words what? on it. Is it the generic that Halloween fucking candy? candy? Oh, that shitty candy. little caramel thing. Oh. Oh. Dude, nope. Dude, no, it's, those things, it's, it's so generic angry. Halloween candy. Generic Halloween candy? That has Fuck no that words candy. on it. Fuck, it's so hard. It, <laughs> it's, it's, it, it only has a single creepy image on it. Like, like the fucking pumpkins. Thing. Or the, or the yeah. Oh my god, yeah. like those foil pumpkins. Wow. Or right. foil Fuck that pumpkins. shit. <laughs> right? Hate those fucking right? things. Those, those are, are the cameras that are wow. Well, here's the thing, too, you because eat... you don't know if it's a crunch pumpkin or a regular pumpkin, and I don't want regular pumpkins. I want crunchy pumpkins. All right, so here it is in context. Okay, go. All right. Andrew bought that rape candy again. He's creepy as hell. Right? <laughs> right? Okay, so, you know what it is, too, is uh, old people, they hand out that it looks like the saltwater taffy. It's uh-huh. packaged the same mm-hmm. way. And it's an orange-black mm-hmm. wrapper. And it tastes, what the fuck That's is That's what it? I'm talking about. That it tastes shit like in a wrapper. Shit. Fuck that shit. Nobody oh. likes it. And when you get it in your candy bag, it's usually thrown in the trash. Yes. Mm-hmm. Where do you even buy it? Right. Have you ever even seen it at the store? I think that pe- the people that bought it bought it all out and they don't make it anymore and they just pull it out every year. Exactly. Yeah. 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 bought it from Costco. So what you're saying is oh. it's the old people who are keeping it going. Yes. yes. Well, yeah. It's exactly like the old people candy in their like purse or whatever. Yeah. It's like, where the fuck Boys is it? Boys like candy. Yeah, they like that shit. Grandma's. Okay, you give that shit over your house. So what you're saying is... Hey, you we yeah. need to get rid of these people yeah. Yeah. because they're giving they're everyone rape candy. They're old. Just get rid of them. Okay, so gross. <laughs> and that word's gross, but it's fun. And yeah. there you go. Whatever. That's the shit that sits so in the bottom the, of your you bag. You know what? The definition of the urban word was way better than what we said. Yeah, you said. Yeah. We, we totally dark brought place. the yeah, drama, just, huh? We were like, you guys went way dark. We totally and I was went. Like, I, and I was like, I was going to cut you off, but I was like, no, I'll just let them go on. Right? Just, <laughs> See how dark it is. And I like it, though, because he explained it very um, clean and neat. Yes. Okay. Yeah. He, he, he was considerate of all those fucking people that would get offended. So, fuck you, you offended motherfuckers, because, well. I'm not offended. Are you offended? No, no that's what I'm saying. For those okay. people who get offended, well, fuck well, you. Out there in the world, if somebody hey. got offended. Hey. Hey. Just hey. saying. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, girl. Just saying. Okay, that's the word of the day. So, that, that, was, uh, that was the urban word of the day. Almost controversial. Almost. Almost. But you know what? It was good, because it worked with all but of it. But it wasn't even controversial. It wasn't. Rape is, rape is fucked up. Yeah. But, but we aren't even talking about that. That's exactly it. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. Moving along. Move it along. Move it along. We got that, out of, along. We got that rape candy out of the way. So I think we should get weird. You guys want right. to talk about some weird shit? Let's get weird. Yeah, let's, okay. let's get weird with it. So I was thinking. Here I'm comes weird. the Shantaism. Oh. So there's always some weird crap we talk about, you know, and like I'll, I will over explain things. To the max. Oh, shut up, really? Oh, gosh. To the max. <laughs> you don't Seriously. Say. Like, I'll, honestly, I was, what was I talking about really? It was just ridiculous. Oh, oh, well, we were sitting there and we, we just let her go. Yeah. And he was like, oh, there goes your Shantaeism. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of it's kind of like, it's kind of like, well, like me with my rant. Everybody just kind of just lets me go. Okay, so there's this one that's been going around. It's actually a meme, but it is actually perfect. 
And of course, and Actually. I feel like anxiety is my theme. Yeah. Always because I have your, severe anxiety. I, it causes your weirdness. I it mean, totally causes my does. weirdness. It turns me into a total freak. It doesn't turn it on though. It doesn't. Yeah. I, it does absolutely not. So isn't anxiety a turn off? Come on. So well, apparently for Chris, he just loves the shit out of me. <laughs> so what the meme is is anxiety is just <laughs> conspiracy theories about yourself. Hey. It's like it's. It's the crap your brain is making up to freak you out, make you overthink things, and it's not true. Mm. Right? Yeah, that makes sense. I like that. I like that. And then the meme, like I've seen it as a meme, and I was thinking about it, and I'm like, uh, I have to talk about that because I have been thinking about it ever since I saw it. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. And I overthink and overthink. Oh, my God, people hate me. I was late, but I really wasn't late. I was only like two minutes late, but oh, my God. In the world. Every time. That kind of shit. It tears me up inside, and I put all this anxiety on myself every day. And you know what? It's a conspiracy theory hmm. that my brain made up hmm. by about, itself. About you. About me, about you, about everyone. Right? My weird thoughts all day long. I get that when I like get really baked and I go out in public because then I get paranoid about myself. And everyone's myself. staring at you, and yeah, everyone knows you're high. Like when I go to the movie Everybody theater, I'm like, it. I uh -huh. like go pay my way in and then I'm waiting in line for food and I'm like you get baked oh when you go to movies? Oh yeah. Like yeah. every time? Um uh, ninety percent of the time. That's amazing. Do you do that? What? Get baked before going to the movies. Not for a long time actually. Yeah? But yeah, if, if, I'm I'm sure, sure, if I'm chilling at home. Yeah. Sorry, it's been a month. <laughs> oh. just, I, I can uh, But yeah, as I'm waiting in line I'm just like, oh my gosh, everybody knows that I'm high and like no, nobody's paying attention me. everybody's just you know That's chatting me. and i'm just yeah. like oh man just like play it off play it cool <laughs> and then i get to the counter i'm like the biggest fucking popcorn you have and the biggest drink you have <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, oh, like, when, I don't know i don't i i totally am not i don't smoke weed because of that mm -hmm. i get paranoid there's a, there's a threshold that you don't want to cross, you know? Like, you got to figure it out. One puff, two puffs, a uh -huh. whole joint, you know? Right. Yeah, dude. And that's if you, I don't know, some people can smoke as much as they want and just be chill and enjoy themselves. Right? Yeah, but for people like me, like, I get that anxiety and I get paranoid and shit. So I, I, I have, a like, a two-puff max when I don't have my tolerance up. What's puff, puff, give, right, motherfucker? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. I can't smoke anything ever. I get to the point every single time, every single time, whether it's one puff or two, where I am stuck and I cannot. I'm mm -hmm. like, I wish I wasn't. I take lots of oil though. I cannot. But eating it, I will eat it. I will oil. <laughs> eat I will the shit out of you. CBD ah. oil, Phoenix ah. tears, all those things. I'm good with those. I like to use the oil. I'm yeah. Sure. And you jam. have to take the spec. It's Phoenix because tears? I think it's controlled, okay, well, right? Yeah. So you can you can take a piece or a part or a dose, and then you're different. Yeah. No. And I have control over that situation, so maybe that's. You know, like my anxiety is like, you have control, yeah. here you go. But if you're one of those cats that like a eats cat. a cookie and they're like, I don't feel anything after a half hour, <laughs> so they eat another one. And then, Little yeah. rel. Next, thing, next thing you know, you're high as fuck. Right. And then you're eating your whole damn kitchen. That's right. right. Yeah. And you're engulfing your You're just laying there in your filth and all like <laughs> chip crumbs on your And you're like, you wake up, wake have this Cheeto later, get like, in oh, my shit. hair. <laughs> you got a mahogany house you and you're fucking black there just like melting oh and dripping God, all over you. Oh my God, nacho cheese. How did I get this cheese out of your mouth? How did I get this Cheeto in my ass? <laughs> How did this even happen? I don't even eat it with my butt. Funny enough, funny enough, the, the best ways to consume mm -hmm. uh, uh, cannabis or THC is either rectally or orally right right that's the that's the best way that's the most healthiest way that's the best way to and your what body do we call it when we put it in our butts boofing boofing Boof. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're gonna if you can get down and you can get down right I mean, seriously get down by boofing eat it or boof it sit on it man oh. sit on it for a minute all <laughs> spread right? those cheese yeah. and just <laughs> put it in that so, put it in that prison purse and enjoy <laughs> prison purse yeah. So, know out. what you're Not having, know what you're dosing, cutting up, eating, whatever, yeah, yeah. and figure it out for yourself. But some of us like to get high and go to the movies. Yeah. Some of right. us need to get high just to go to sleep. Yeah. Some of us need to get some high just to go to sleep. Some of us need to get high live. just to live. <laughs> okay, I'm on my feet all day, every day, and sometimes I just need to have something because I'm in pain. That's it. Yeah. And a lot of us are like that, and it's yeah. good. And we have it. Pain management. Big yeah, time. pain management. Mm -hmm. I'm an old fuck. 
and I need shit for pain. Yeah. <laughs> I'm falling apart. I don't smoke it because I'll just have anxiety, and then I'll be so worried about everything else I can't do well, you know what, what it needs to be done. It's good for smoking, like watching movies, man. Like I, I appreciate movies more. Yeah. yeah, I get right in there. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. It, it, it just enhances just, the, yeah. the, 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 the. I'm not ashamed to be an enhancement smoker, dude. Yeah. Just, I like as long, just, just as long, just as long as you know your threshold. Yeah. Mm. Right. Like I know that I can. I know that I can take one puff, and it's good for me. Yeah, me too. Any more than one puff, yeah. then I'm fucked. I'm like, fuck, I'm fucked. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. I'm fucked for. I'm sweating in a puddle of fucking <laughs> on the floor, <laughs> screaming and crying. Do you remember? We thought there was like. We thought there was police outside the house, the PCP and they were like, like oh, God, "Dude, me and oh. I, love no, we've got I don't smoke very much, we have so it happens." <laughs> I love like smoking and watching food shows. Like the other oh night, yeah, the other oh, night yes. I was watching this new me show. Chris do that. I was watching. Um, I like to get uh, high and watch people eat. Uh, <laughs> breakfast, <lunch. laughs> I was watching breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yes. And I was like, Oh my God! I was watching Seth the Rogen first show. episode. I was like, Holy With Rogen? With Seth oh, it's so good! Oh, it was so good! It was so like, good! Man, this makes me love Vancouver more. Right? Yes. <laughs> like, I want to like go and try new food. I want to. Yeah. I want to go. And, I want to. Yeah. I want to smoke weed. Go to Vancouver and eat some sweaty balls. <laughs> what? Oh no, he does. Dude, there's donuts. Okay. Oh my god, there's sweaty balls. Watch, I know you, you gotta, gotta watch balls. it. You gotta watch it to get yeah. that no, reference. No, it was the fruit that they had. Yes. And yeah. he was like, it's oh, like a sweaty yeah. ball. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Dude, dude, explain this to me. Okay. Okay. What was that fruit called? What was uh, that fruit? I forgot what it was called. So basically, uh, it's like a man- mango it's, slash it's, something. It's from like, uh, I forgot where it was from, but ah. it's exotic, right? So yeah. it's like from. I want to say from like the Middle East, but I don't, I'm not sure if that's where it's from, and maybe from like mm. South America or Africa. If you guys watch, remember. if you guys watch What's the, the show? show, What's the show? Uh, breakfast, lunch, and, and dinner. dinner. It's on Netflix. Yeah, it's brand new. So if you guys watch it, tell us what the fruit, name of the fruit. All right. We'll figure it out. Yeah. Mm. Tell us. Let us know. But right. also in all the the um the preview pictures on Netflix, it usually yeah. has Seth Rogen. Yeah. Even though he's the first guest, not the only guest. Yeah. yeah. It changes with the episodes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, they're, like, they're, I think the second one has Chrissy Teigen in it, yeah. and it's and actually she's pretty amazing. Good. Yeah, I love her so it's much. Pretty good. And they go and they go to they go to Morocco. Was it yeah, Morocco? Morocco. Right. Morocco. Second episode. Yeah. yeah. So the first episode is in Vancouver. The second episode is in, in Morocco. Morocco. What they do is they walk around the city and they like look at different things in the city, and then the 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 people who, who understand that city take um what's his name uh, um, David Chang. Chang. David Chang. Chang. Yeah. David. David, David Chang. 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 Chang, I believe. Chang. Chang. Chang? Yes. David Chang. And they take David Chang around in that city. To and they feed different, him. Yeah. Different yeah, basically, yeah. He's, and then he they show and then he his, shows their them favorite spots. spots. And then he shows, shows them, them the, his, his favorite, favorite spots. It's the best thing ever. Yeah. It's like hanging out with your best friend in a new city. And then you go order like 50 bazillion things together. Oh, yeah. So good. Every time they go to these places, they order so get high like and watch twenty show. different meat, different yeah. plates. A bunch of different like mm-hmm. the third and episode, they eat it all. They were like in this Asian this this Asian cuisine place in L. A. with uh, it was a Japanese place. restaurant. Yes. Yeah, and it was. And he like, ordered everything. Yeah, I had that like a huge. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> was it the um, it was like a, place? I remember what the pork. I think it was. was. Yeah. No, no, no. Oh, it was, no, no, it was the Asian food. It was the Japanese place, and they ordered that pork. Remember? Yeah. Oh, it was like a pork broth. Yeah. Stuff. Yeah. yeah. Can you guys tell we love food? We're <laughs> so obsessed. Food shows are the best. But yeah. So, so watch that show, guys, because it's so good. And the, the guests on that show are amazing. All of them so far yeah. that we've watched have been really good. Been really but he good. starts with Seth Rogen. So, of course, it is just yeah, gets you it, right it's, there. It's a local place. Oh. I'm oh. sure we've all been to Vancouver and we all have places that we love to eat down there. This will be a good, you know. It made us all we're like we live in Canada. Why are we not there yeah. eating these things? Plus, you know, it'll, it'll give you an insight into where Seth Rogen eats if you want to run into him down exactly. there. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And I was on that flight home from Vancouver with Seth Rogen that one time, and he was filming another market um, show with David. Is it David Chang? David yeah. Chang. David he was Love doing. He was down in the market there. Mm. That time when I saw him on that on the on that flight, been, it might have been, been this one. It could have been the show. They, they it could have been the other one. Yeah, yeah. For, yes, for the donuts. Yes, yeah. and it was in Granville Island, and he was filming there. So I feel like I probably saw him that one time before he went there. But he said he's in Vancouver all the time. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, definitely watch the show so you know where he goes and you can stalk him. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, I guess if you want to if you want to stalk Seth Rogen, we have given you some tips. <laughs> Did we even? 
He asked the question. Oh, no, I'm still talking about my my weirdness, right? right. We went way <laughs> off. Fucking be real. Pug hair. Did you have, who had a question? Malcolm. You have a question? Yeah. We're trying to answer it. We're trying to tell them what the show was called. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. It's, it's called the Breakfast, Lunch, and Dinner. Breakfast, David Lunch, and Dinner. David Chang. He's the, he's the host. The more you know. Yeah. So watch it. Dude, you gotta watch it. Yeah. Okay, it. so I was talking about conspiracy theories about anxiety, and we were talking about smoking weed now gives you anxiety. <laughs> yeah. Um, some other things. So basically, <laughs> most of the time, <laughs> when I'm home, if Harry Potter isn't on, we're usually watching comfort games. Yeah. Like, randomly. If we can't decide what we want to watch, and we can't concentrate on something, it's background noise, and usually it's Hunger Games. So what I was what I was talking about what I was thinking about was that if Katniss and Peeta if they were celebrities and they put their names together, <laughs> it would be it would be Cat P or Penis. Penis. <laughs> I was thinking Cat Piss. Cat Piss. It was, it was a Cat Piss, right? But it, no, it can be it can't be one letter. Penis. So it has to be Cat P. Cat P. Okay, that works. Or Penis. Penis, I like that. Penis. Yeah. I don't like penis, but I like that name. <laughs> hey, because, you know, nothing against you if you like penis. Yeah, no, exactly. No, sorry. Or, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Nothing against you if you have a penis. Yeah, right. <laughs> that either. Penis people? Because what don't are some of the celebrity nothing names? Nothing against where you if you don't together? have one either. Uh, <laughs> get, um, Benifer? Benifer was like a big one. Benifer, right? Yeah, yeah, it was like Brangelina. Brangelina. Yeah. Oh, fuck. So if Katniss Everdeen and Peta were. Celebrity couples in real life, it would be cat piss or <laughs> penis. <laughs> Sorry, cat pee or penis. I think cat so and then the very last Shantaeism, the last weird thing is everyone put your hands up, wiggle your fingers. You guys, I don't know what to do, man. do it, wiggle it, wiggle it, everybody, do it at everybody home too. listening. Are you guys wiggling your fingers? Home. You guys doing it at home? Think about it, this guys. Think about it. Oh, knuckles. You see your knuckles? Yeah. Those are just tiny elbows. <laughs> Those are just tiny elbows. What? Bending. Just like these elbows. See these wow. elbows? Fucking these are just tiny shirt. elbows. Fucking sure. <laughs> oh wow. Jazz. Right. These are the things that keep me up at night. These are the things that keep <laughs> me up at night. These are the things that keep me up at night. Sometimes I'm laying there and I go, Christopher. Does Niagara Falls ever just freeze up and not flow anymore? <laughs> and then guess what? Another hour on Google. Trying to find just that Just like shit. that. Just like that. And Trying that's how that you shit. keep the love alive, guys. That's how you keep the love alive. All right. So, guess what, guys? Hmm. I have a phone call. Oh, all right. Are all we right, we're going to go to the calls. Are we even doing that yet? Yeah, we're, we're going to do, go, we're we're not, do it throughout the it's show. It's not caller calling. It's because we're having a conversation. Caller calling. Okay, so who is it? What's going right. on? So, Before you call them, what's going on? All right, so we're having a competition right now. Okay. And the competition is when you do um, Pennywise impersonation. Pennywise the clown from the movie. Right. Pennywise whether, the whether, clown. Whether, Stephen King's book. Yeah. Whether, whether, whether it's Tim Curry or Bill Skarsgård. Either or. Fucking rock stars, man. Yeah. All right, so here we go. The caller that we're calling right now, uh, this caller is Corey. Hi, Corey. Oh, no, hey, Corey. Right we're calling you. Calling you, Corey. He said it's cool. I hope he answers. All right. So it would be weird if you don't, Corey. Yeah. Hey, what's up? Hey. hey. What's up, Corey? Hey, how's life? How's life? Life is good. Good all the time. Fantastic. Even better now. We're stalking to you. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. Stalking. Oh, you said stalking. <laughs> stalking. All right, bud. So, what, what do you what do you think about your elbow knuckles, man? Huh? Do you like elbow knuckles? Elbow knuckles? Well, my elbow knuckle is. I guess it'd be finger elbows. Knuckles. Finger elbows. Knuckles. Knuckles. <laughs> finger elbows. Finger elbows. <laughs> That's right. Your finger oh, elbows. Is that my finger armpit? A finger armpit. Oh! oh, 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 oh shit! <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> oh, my mind just went somewhere. Rachel's had to stop carving a pumpkin to check out. Yeah, she out. was carving a pumpkin. She had to stop and check out her elbow knuckles. <laughs> All right, Corey. So we have our competition going where you can do uh, who's going to do the best impersonation 
uh, Pennywise the Clown, either Kim Curry yeah. or Bill Skarsgård. Before you do it, set it up. Let us know who you're going to do. Yeah, I'm probably doing Tim Curry because right. Tim Curry's my guy. All yeah. right. So it's like he was ready to start, right? You know when he's the boat's gliding down the uh, the river, you need water there. Yeah, yeah. That's the drain. Yeah, yeah. And also, you know, hiya, Georgie. Yeah. yeah. That's my favorite part too, man. <laughs> yeah. Hey, don't you want a balloon? Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's some good shit. And he, and he just laughs. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. Then. So hear what we're gonna do. Okay. Do it all together now. Okay. So we're not gonna interrupt we'll you. Do it, all. do it all together now. All right. Whenever you're ready. Okay. Hiya, Georgie. Don't you want a balloon? <laughs> Oh, oh, oh yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. 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 Bravo, bro. Good job, Corey. Yeah. Bravo, bro. All right, so uh, there, there's that. Um, it's easier than one of them. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so. Ask him about his babies? Yeah. Yeah. Set that up. Hey, so, Corey, oh, while we have you, what are your top five favorite horror movies? Top five favorite horror? Uh, Repo, the genetic opera. Nice. Oh, nice. Uh huh. Uh, let's see. Where, 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 uh, I do like uh, Scream. I do like the original Scream. Nice. Oh, so right. Right. Nice. Right. 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 Classic. Yeah. Uh, Hatchet. Hatchet's a good one. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, what else we got? Uh, Two more. Hmm. These are these. I like the the uh, new. Uh, what is it called? Halloween with. I think it was Rob Zombie created. Oh, yeah, 2007, yeah. Rob Zombie Halloween. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that one, place in the that one I like. It's, it's a little more gory, less less too story to it, but it's yeah. Um, yeah. I dig that. Uh, and I like the original Saw. The original Saw. Like, First Saw? I like yeah. that one too. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm a huge Classic. Saw fan. Yeah, the, amount, the amount of money they spent on it versus what they got out of it, it was just so much. It was so, so good. good. It was so good. I agree with that entirely. All right, and then we also have one more one more um, participation uh, question. Um, so it's like when you're in your car, you're, you're driving down, and you're driving down the street, and you're <laughs> alone. Um, name five songs that are kind of guilty pleasures. I would say. What do you listen when you're not around anybody else? Yeah, yeah. Me, not... I, I, I I listen to all my music in front of people. That's the problem. <laughs> Good on you. <laughs> then yeah, hey. Uh, I'm a, I'm a big fan of Charlie XCX. Okay. Uh, uh, Jump from Fancy from Iggy Azalea. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think I know that one. Iggy Azalea. Backstreet Boys. Backstreet Boys is always one. Dude, Backstreet Boys ah, yeah. is life, right? <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah, it's Backstreet Back, right? You know, that's the, yeah. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> Everybody. Fancy. Uh, Mbop. Yeah. Mom. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> 90s. Hell yeah. Uh, Eiffel 65. Oh, oh shit. Oh, way back. Pulling cards over here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, anything Taylor Swift. I don't look like a Taylor Swift fan, but I do. She's a <laughs> oh, so man, that. she's Satan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro. Awesome. That's fun. Yeah, that's yeah, good. Cool. Thanks, Corey. Thanks, Corey. Thanks, Corey. Thanks, Corey. You have a good night. Yeah, no you rock. Thanks, you rock, bro. These guys enjoy the enjoy the podcast. Happy Thanks, listening. bro. Thank you. Bro. Thank you. Happy listening. All right, that was good. Okay, so I'll put this out to the listeners and the viewers out there. You guys are going to be the judges for this Pennywise the Clown uh, contest. Okay. So you're gonna you're gonna listen, pay attention to the callers that called, and let us know which ones you like the best. Yes. And those guys, the, the one winner is going to get a T-shirt. That's right. Everybody who participates, though. We'll get stickers. Yeah. Yes. Every participant gets a sticker. That's so right. Corey, you're getting a sticker. Corey, you're getting a sticker. It won't be a gold star, but it's the next best thing. It's an ape. So. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, we got a gold ape for you. <laughs> All right. So moving along. Yeah. Okay. Well, since we talked to them about um, his five top five top horror movies. Top five horror right? movies. All right. So I think we should uh, deep dive into that ourselves. All okay. right. All right. Uh, Neil. Let's, let's start you off. What's, All your, right. what's your top five? So my top five. Number five, I have this little French... New, it's called a, 
The genre was called at the time New Wave French Horror, and this came out in 2003. It's a movie called High Tension. Okay. So okay. it's a it. slasher movie. Yeah. It's pretty gory for the time there. It has like some pretty fantastic deaths. And uh, fantastic. for me, it, it it also introduced me to one of my favorite alternative rock bands of all time in Muse. Oh, nice. In, in the soundtrack. But it has a twist. I'm not going to say what it is. Right. Like, it's a Spoilers. really good horror slasher movie nice. full of gore and it's it's French. Nice. So that's my number five. Um, <clears throat> number four is a movie that came out not too long ago called uh, It Follows. Mm. So that came out in 2014. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I, I like to, pr my premise for it is what if Peg was an STD that horrifically <laughs> murders you? Yes. <laughs> and that's Tag, you're in. Yeah, Tag, so you're in. basically, Tag, you're, dead. you're stalked by this entity if you have sex with somebody that's cursed. And this thing slowly comes after you. It will not stop, and it takes the form of whatever, of like any any person. Oh, wow. So, and if it catches up to you, it horrifically murders you. Nice. It's a, it's a really good... Um, telling you some deep dive here, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So number three is a movie from... 2005 called The Descent. Oh, yes. Yeah. I so fucking love that movie. I love this movie just so because it, it starts, if you go into it not knowing what it's about, it's it, it starts off as like a, uh, a claustrophobic psychological thriller mm. and then it turns into something okay. else halfway through no, and it's still yeah. pretty effective. Fucking crazy. It has it's really so great the jump twist, scares. Yeah, the twist is nice. Uh, if you can, check out the unrated version, because yeah. the ending is so much more bleak. If yeah. you watch the theatrical <laughs> version, it's kind of, eh. Mm -hmm. uh, and stay right. away from the sequel, because it's not that good. That's no. kind of the case, usually, right? right? Yeah. It's usually just one. Number two. Number two is going to tie into what we're going to check out later, but it's a little Japanese horror movie from 2002 uh -huh. called ju on the grudge mm -hmm. wow, so as so much scary, as right? much as you may have loved the american remake the japanese one is so much yeah. more yeah. fun it's, real it's, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Guys, that yeah. movie was the first time i ever watched a movie like with a group of people and <laughs> yeah. screamed out loud <laughs> the so it scared, me. Good it scared me so badly that i made a noise the second time that has ever happened was watching it with these assholes oh. <laughs> and i made this weird gurgly throat noise like i was trying to keep it in but it was the scared was like now i have to get out and that yeah. movie though oh for sure. man that, that creeped me out as a kid just because i was like what if you woke up in the middle of the night and some like ghost bitch is like staring at you over your bed right? like, it's fucking... terrifying yeah. or if you wake up and you look at the foot of your bed and you see her creeping up coming towards you right like oh, this. right back <laughs> Yeah, I'll be right back. Dude, that's creepy. That's a that's it a nightmare is. in itself. Just the thought yeah. of that. Yeah. Conspiracy um, theories before in your own head. Before I go ahead with my number one, I'm just gonna quickly ring off my honorable mentions. Okay, honorable so, mentions. Honorable mentions. Jaws. That was like one of the first Classic. movies it's I've seen as a kid. And probably maybe, one of your first kid frights, right? Yeah. And Any large body of water it has a large water. shark in yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, the original Night of the Living Dead. I love that movie. Yeah. Um, Hereditary that? is yeah. another one that I absolutely love. That I saw that on the on the list Harry? that was really people. A Sissy's lot of people basic? say Hereditary. Yeah, Hereditary. Well, Hereditary. I thought you said Carrie. I was like, oh, Sissy's basic. <laughs> 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 no, uh, yeah, Hereditary. I thought that was it's a slow burn psychological thriller, and it's pretty good. Um, Shaun of the Dead is one of mine. And it's also, you know, one of my top comedy movies. Yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah, I didn't, I didn't That's put any of those movies in because I felt like it was, it's, it's a given. It's fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then my final uh, honorable mention is Final Destination <laughs> Two. Nice. The well, log scene. Two. The log scene. The freeway. Because of where we live. The log oh, yeah. scene. Yeah, that and that said, anytime you draw, anytime you're driving on the highway and you see it like a logging uh, truck drive by. 
You notice nobody in this area drives behind it. No. Nope. That's the Ever. influence Final Destination <laughs> 2 has As on everybody. And yeah. where we live, there are logging trucks there. every day, all, all day, everywhere. Yeah. And so we're just always just like, get, a, get away. So my number one is number one. 1980s The Thing. Nice. Ooh. I love Good this one. game or er, game movie. <laughs> I played the game as a kid, uh, but like it does a really good job with the paranoia that's developing among all the characters there. The special effects hold up to this day, mm-hmm. and, and like Kurt Russell, Kurt Russell, yeah, Kurt Russell Come in on. it, right? And it, it's a John Carpenter classic, and they left the ending open. Yes, and that's what I absolutely love about horror movies is. Like a lot, a lot of the ones that have open endings are pretty good. Yeah, and it's open to interpretation as to what happened at the end. Fuck yeah! Right, hey. good shit. Mm. Right. All right. You want to go up next? No. Malcolm, oh, you wait. go. I'm going last. Then You're Chris, going you last. go. Yeah. I'm going to go next. You're going next. Yeah, I'll go. <laughs> I'll go. <laughs> okay. So, are we? We're doing our top movies. Top five horror. You did five. Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. Well, you did some honorable, honorable mentions. mentions. Well, I have honorable mentions too. Yeah, okay. you can mention yeah, it. Let's hear this. Okay. So, I'm going to start with, I'll start with five and go mm. down just like you did. Yeah. Okay. So, number one, number five. KSO. KSO. Ooh. Number five. The Others with Nicole Kidman. Okay. Because of the twist. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I love that movie. I love anything that gives me. A uh, whole way of looking at things, and then goes, "Fuck you, no! Looks look at it like this." I love that over. because I I just love that about anything. Mm. You look at it one way, but then you get a whole other perception. Mm. Okay, and that shit scares me. The old lady, come on now. Yes. Okay, <laughs> and then so number four is it, but Tim Curry's it mm. because that Seriously. movie that movie had or that series literally it changed my life. As a little kid, after watching that, that was the first situation where I could not sleep in my own bed, and I had a fear of clowns ever since then. How fantastic is it that they did that with a PG movie, yeah. a movie yeah. made for family television, no and shit. it creeped the fuck out of you. Yeah. It's so it was so bad. As a child, I watched it, and I couldn't sleep in my own bed. And nightmares, and you know when um, you know when you turn the light off somewhere and you run upstairs real mm. quick to get away from the scariness. From the demons. Yeah, from the, the basement. Tim Curry was that person in the basement. Oh, gosh. When you turn the light off in the bathroom and run when you flush the toilet, <laughs> Tim Curry was the thing in the toilet that was going to come get me. Okay. The so Tim Curry's in the closet. Tim Curry's under my bed. That it was terrifying to me still to this day. Okay. And my number three, and I'm going to just go right ahead and say it. Anything that Rob Zombie makes is gold. Mm. I'm obsessed with Rob Zombie. I always have been. I love everything he does. So I have my number three and my number two. House of Thousand Corpses and Devil Rejects. Nice. I mean, if you don't have um, if you don't have the stomach for the kind of stuff that's going into these movies, then obviously don't don't watch, don't go there. But I'm obsessed and you know, the bodies and all that stuff, that doesn't bother me. I love the characters. Mm. The characters are amazing. The Firefly family. Was the Firefly family, yeah. right? Three from Hell and was a good blend of both of them. I did like it, but I expected more. Mm. For it to be the next one, I wanted mm. more, and there wasn't a lot. There wasn't mm. a lot going on. Okay, so before I say my number one and why, I want to say my honorable mentions. And my my first one is The Grudge. Oh, yeah. Because that's the first movie that ever made me make a noise yeah. out loud that scared the shit out of me. That's the, the big one on a lot of people. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And my next one is Rosemary's Baby. Ooh, oh, it's classic. a very, it's a classic. <laughs> okay. But also, could you imagine? Can you having imagine Satan's having Satan's baby? baby? Oh, man. I mean, and as a, as a woman, as someone, as a, I was a young person seeing this movie for the first time thinking, what if I grew up and your child was fucking, it's, the devil's Spawn baby, of right? Satan, quite literally. And I love classic movies. And the other one is The Birds, the Ooh. Alfred Hitchcock. And that scares the shit out of me because of where we live, too. But also, it just always has because birds, they're in control, right? They are flying, they're up high. <laughs> if they were in a gang, they could totally freaking eat your eyeballs out. Right. That trips me out. Yeah. Have you ever had like a crow swoop down at you before? I have them like, yelling at me, no, like telling me. I've had me, that happen to me before. And like, 
I, I have like P a mild PTSD. You have PTSD? Whenever like I see a crow perch by and I like fucker better not like swoop down <laughs> at me. <laughs> so I can understand the, the bird the, the, the birds. The horror of the birds. So and I don't know is it a horror movie? It oh, really I is. Would say, I would it say is. it is. It is, right? It's, yeah, it's early horror. Is okay. it a horror movie, guys? Is it? So it's the birds, the, the birds, horror. Rosemary's Baby, and The Grudge. Those are my honorable mentions. Those aren't my top. I won't rewatch them repeatedly, but those mm. are those are good ones that I think about. <laughs> but my number one, guys, is The Strangers. Ooh. And you know yes. why? Because of what they said. In the end, they said, why? Why did you do this? And they said, because you were home. Fuck. Are you what, kidding me? What better yeah. way, like, home is where you feel That's, safe. Yes. And these yeah. people come in and they just take that away. And they just skip yeah. right out. Like, well, yeah. fuck you. It wasn't anything <laughs> personal at that all. That scares the <laughs> shit out of me. It scares the shit out of me that somebody can come just do whatever the hell they want. Who cares? Yeah. And not for any reason whatsoever. They didn't pick you out. They didn't watch you for weeks. They just did it. No, it was yep. just, you were there, Who it cares? felt like it. We wanted to yeah. do it. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of um, jump scares in that movie, <laughs> and a lot of, it's like more like psychological, right? Yeah. Like that situation. I, I think that most of my, most of my scary movies that really gave me are the psychological mm. thrillers. Nice. Those were my top five. Nice. Do you guys want to know my songs? Or Let's no? Move on. Are we saving? We'll okay, so just for it. So yeah. you heard mine. Who's yeah. next? I got one. You said you wanted to go last, so I'm going to go next. All right. So my top five, my number five, is a fucking classic. All right, it's a it's a it's a fucking cult classic, and it's a popular classic. It's a it's a part of pop culture. All right, one of the main fucking scary motherfuckers. You will. He's, he's lovable. He's green, and he's fucking. <laughs> oh. My number five is Ghostbusters. Yeah. Nice. All right, and it, I, it's it's a horror movie because it is a horror movie. It's about monsters, right? And but then again, it's also a comedy. Yeah. It's probably more so a comedy than a horror, but it it's still has horror. Still in it. has horror in it. There are still mm -hmm. parts that are a bit scary for younger people. Yeah. You know what I mean? But and it also fucking it's one of my favorite fucking actors in the entire world is in it. <laughs> and uh, that's that's uh, that is of course Bill Murray. Um, uh, number four is um is a com is a comp. It's a it's two two movies. It's yeah. um. Grindhouse. Um, nice. Grindhouse. Oh, so, yeah. oh, you found a loophole. <laughs> yeah, I did. You did two movies into one. I did. I did. I did. So we're we're, we're talking about uh, Robert Rodriguez's um, Planet Terror. That's right. And then we're talking about Quentin Tarantino's Death Proof. That's Death right. Proof. Um, of both of those ones, I can't fucking decide between the two. I love them fucking both. They're, and yeah. Death Proof also has. Uh, uh, Kurt, Kurt Russell, Russell in it, yeah. yeah, and it's fucking magical, yeah. like like it's fucking brilliantly written, the dialogue and it's Quentin Tarantino, so of course. But then you have some Mr. Rodriguez, Robert Rodriguez in there with the uh, with the um, uh, Planet, Planet Terror. Terror, and then you got a combination of zombie and a combination of, of, of it's just it's good, mm. it's really good. Uh, so that's my number four. Number three is kind of funny because I I kind of you'll hear about the number three. Uh, in a couple months. <laughs> All right, because number three is also a Christmas movie. Oh, and I fucking love it. Like love it. It's a uh, Krampus. It's uh, right. 2015's Krampus, yeah. and it is a fucking horror movie. <laughs> I don't fuck what you talk about. It's a fucking horror movie, but it is also a fucking Christmas movie. Yeah. And what's awesome about it is it's like a German folklore. Yeah. Right. And it's 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 um when you start being a little shithead about Santa. Krampus comes and fucks your fucking life up, takes your family away, right? And it's just, it's so good. And, and it's like, it's just so over why the does top. Why come? Because you're a little prick. Yeah. You stop believing in Santa. So stop being a dick, be nicer to people, and then no, Krampus won't take your money. No, it's not even that. Believe in Santa. <laughs> it's, 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 it's about imagination and believing in Santa. Be nice. Not Have be. fun. Have fun. Fuck you. Get crazy. <laughs> So, so there, right, there's that. Come and take your family away. All right. So this was very difficult for me to order these two. Um, mm -hmm. This is my number two, and this is my number one. So my number two was my number one for a big majority of my existence. Your life. Big majority of my young existence, my old existence, my in between existence, mm -hmm. and it's 
Star is one of my favorite fucking actors. What's like his name? the top actor that I fucking absolutely adore. Mm-hmm. As um, Bruce Campbell versus the Army of Darkness. So, 1992's Bruce Campbell versus the Army of Darkness. Not to confuse it with Ash versus the Army of Darkness because everybody will think that, but it's not. It's not you Ash. Think it's that, but Bruce it's not. Campbell because everybody would be like, oh well, his name is Ash in the movie, so it's Ash versus the Army of Darkness, but it's not. No. It's fucking Bruce Campbell, motherfuckers. Mm-hmm. Look him up to stay Boomstick. Yeah. Boomstick. Hold my boomstick and make go bang bang, baby. <laughs> um, that's right. Hail to the king. Oh, yeah. Another fucking movie that is Wait. That is is a horror, but is also another comedy. Mm-hmm. Like a lot of mine yeah. has to do with fucking comedy because Krampus is the same way. It's a mm-hmm. fucking horror. There are some jump scares, some creepy shit, some little creepy little creatures, but it's fucking comedy. Right? Ghostbusters, same thing. Fucking Bruce Campbell versus the Army Doc. It's very comedy, fucking huh? cheesy. A lot of comedy in it. But it's good shit. Was that your number two? That was my because number two. Because you switched up to your number one. Do you yes. have an honorable mention before you get to number yes, one? Yes, I have five honorable mentions. Holy smokes. Yes. All right, so my 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 number five honorable mention is Saw. 2004 <laughs> Saw. Saw. Fucking Rise. love that shit. Um, I am a big fucking fan of Wolfman. <laughs> and I love the remake. So that's my honorable mention number four. I don't mention number three is, is that, because of absolutely. Is that Benicio del Toro? Yes. Yes, he rocks. Mm, yes. That shit rocks. That's Benicio! Oh. That's right. And it's also Anthony Hopkins. Yes, dude. And uh, Mr. Anders. <laughs> is, yes, he what plays. What's his name? Hugo Weaving. Yes. There you go. Yeah. Mr. Anders. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Number three so. is Maximum Overdrive. That was in my top five. Because forever, as a child, I was absolutely terrified of fucking big rigs because of the movie. You guys, <laughs> you told me about this movie. I never even watched it. Yeah. What was it, four years Emilio! ago? Four years Emilio! ago. Three or Emilio. four years ago, I yeah. watched it for the very, very first, first time. time. Yeah. I never, and I'm like, you were scared of trucks. Right. And then I felt like my response to that was people's response to me. You were scared of clowns. Exactly. You know, like, just silly. But as a kid, yeah, totally. I was like sense. four years old when I first fucking <laughs> watched it. Yeah. Right? So every time I saw a fucking big rig, I couldn't see the driver. So I thought the fucking big rig was after me. It's scary. <laughs> scary yeah. shit. Yeah. Real. Okay. All right. So after that, this is another one that was in my fucking top five, but got booted out because some other ones. Mm-hmm. Like, give me five years ago, this would have been in my top five, probably my number three. And that is uh, Night of the Living Dead, 1990, 1990 version. Yeah. yeah. It's so good. Yeah. Fucking good. It's a brilliant movie. It's a good remake. It's a fucking brilliant remake. Yeah. And it's Georgie Romero, so it's fucking creaming in your yeah. pants. Good. Yeah. And then, um, my number one, um, my number one fucking uh, honorable mention is, um, of course, those little creepy motherfuckers that will pick apart your plane when you're flying. Oh. Gremlins. I'm, I'm all snakes. <laughs> yeah. Just kidding. <laughs> gremlins. Gremlins. Gremlins take it apart your plane. Snakes are just on that plane. Yeah. All right, so it's Gremlins, 1984. They are creepy. Fucking love that movie. Okay. And it's also another fucking Christmas movie. It it's is, a isn't big it? tie. It's it. It yeah. is. In between a lot of the shit that I do is a comedy horror Christmas. Mm-hmm. You can kind of do both. He likes Christmas, guys. Yeah. <laughs> he does. And mix it with Halloween. <laughs> he likes it. Look at Nightmare Before Christmas. Halloween. Totally. It's a very Halloween movie, but for Christmas. And then my top number one, two movies. I couldn't. You can't decide. No, they they go together. Okay, go. It's it's chapter one and two. Nice. Yeah. So 2018, good. 2019. Are they really your favorite? 2017. Of fucking ever? Favorite. Or 17? Yeah. yeah. 17 and, ni- and uh, 19. And 19. 19. Yeah. yeah. Fucking favorite. It's, it's, fucking favorite. It's so good. Yeah. All right. So I'm it a really big is. I'm a big fan, and the reason why we're one of the reasons why we're having a conversation about Pennywise is because of me. Because he I, loves I run around the yeah. I run to the I run around the house saying Jordy's name <laughs> as Pennywise. Yeah. So right here, here yeah. we go. Nope. I'm not a part of the competition, so don't vote for me. Okay. But I'm gonna do Pennywise. Chris the first clown. impression of Pennywise. Bill Skarsgård, the dancing clown. Pennywise, the dancing clown. Right, Give me a moment. <laughs> Let me collect my thoughts. <sighs> Lemon face. Well, hello, Jordy. Ah, I like your boat, Jordy. Bill's gonna be jelly. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, well, I'm Pennywise the Clown. Now we know each other. (laughs) I'm married to this guy. 
so scary. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So that's it. Uh, All right, Malcolm. It, it, chapter one and two. I love Fuck it. yeah. Yeah, those are good. It's up to five. you, buddy. All right. My top five. Um, I'll start from five. Uh, Crossroads with oh. Britney Spears, Zoe <laughs> Saldana, Taryn Manning, and Anson Mount. Uh, I guess that number would be four. A, that's pretty really fucking horrible. Number four was How to Lose a Guy in Ten Days with <laughs> Kate Bessie and Matthew McConaughey. Where's Matthew McConaughey? Number three was Made in Manhattan with J Lo and Ray Fiennes. Wait, which horror are you doing? Those are the horrible movies you're talking horrible about. Horrible or horror? Oh, horror! I think it's said horror. Those were horrible. Horror of a movie. Horror it was a horror movie. of a horror. movie. Horrible. Okay, well. Number two is Spider Man 3. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Tommy McGuire, you suck. And uh, number one was Jack and Jill with Adam Sandler. <laughs> oh shit. I refuse to watch Adam that movie. Sandler. I refuse. I was tricked it's, into watching I don't want to vomit oh repeatedly. I, no, it was after is that movie. Is this what you're really doing with your life? <laughs> Are you going to give us a real list? <laughs> this is I'm sorry, that's my only report. Okay, the horrors of one. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, I have. A user or a, a fan listener's submitted list here. Okay, go. Okay. I'm going to give them the nickname of uh, Macaroni Panda. Okay, Macaroni Ooh, Panda. Macaroni Ooh, Panda. So, that's number that's five. That's so good. Nice. Number nice. five on Macaroni Tasty. Panda's list okay. is The Craft. Oh, okay. good. You know what? The bathroom with the snakes. Ugh. It's been forever since I've seen that. It's so good. You, they're going to redo it. It's so, I don't oh, want wow. that to happen. It's I don't know. stupid. I don't That's the one with Ned Campbell, right? <laughs> yes. No yes, relation. No relation. Number four on Macaroni Panda's All list the is <laughs> uh, Train to Busan. Oh, fuck yes. We've I've been trying to watch that. Is that, that with the zombies in the train? Yes. Such a good yeah. fucking movie. It is. Movie. It zombies is on a train. Yes. Zombies on a fucking train. Who can, who can pull off zombies on a fucking train but... The Japanese. I no mean, Koreans. I think it was, it was Koreans. Koreans. Yeah. Was it Korean? Yeah, it was yeah. Koreans. Yeah. Who could pull it off? But the Koreans. Tension in oh it. My there was. It's, just, like, it's just so, so much running. In a so world, in a uh, world where there's uh, so many uh, zombie <laughs> movies, <laughs> everywhere you look, shut the fuck movies. up. This right. one's just no, like, I like it. Makes I'm sense. just saying, there's lots of movement. Number <laughs> number three on Macaroni Panda's list is Escape Room. Mm. So I haven't seen that one yet. It's good. But I've been hearing it. good things about it. It's good. Number What's the main th- actor in that one? The, the, uh, what's her name? I can't remember her fucking name. From Daredevil? Mm. The, the, the chick from Daredevil? I think so. Jennifer Garner? No. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong Daredevil. That's totally <laughs> what I was thinking. No, no, no. Um, oh, what's her, her name's name? like Deborah Ann Wall. something. Deborah Ann Wall. That's, That's really? the main yeah. character? Wow. I, I don't know. I, I thought it was it a dude. It might have been. I, I I haven't seen the movie yet. Who I'm are we even? Okay, we'll find out. <laughs> okay. Okay. Number two on Macaroni Panda's list is The Devil's Rejects. Oh, of course, nice. they're yeah. super bad. We got Tootie fucking fruity. Tootie That's fucking right. fruity. Number one on Macaroni Panda's play, uh, list there is Split. Split. Good. Split. James McAvoy? Yeah. James McAvoy. Okay. I enjoyed Solid. that movie. Solid movie. It's like... All right, so you guys are all. It wasn't me. It was Patricia. All, it was, you're all fucking wrong. You're wrong. All right, it's Taylor Russell. There you go. She oh. plays the lead. I okay. Didn't watch in it. Escape Room. Yeah. Okay. I, I just know the I don't name. Remember. I just know it's like the chick from Daredevil was so in it. Wrong. That's all <laughs> I know. But that's, Daredevil that's, is in the Netflix series Daredevil. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, so Bandit. awesome. Panda. What macaroni panda? Macaroni panda. Sounds delicious. Good name. Mm. I know it's a good title. It's a <laughs> <laughs> All right, could be a koala. Okay. So, <laughs> does anybody want to call in, give in, give your Pennywise the Dancing Cat Clown playlist, and maybe give us your top five horror movies? Yeah. yeah. Just like message us and let call. us know. You want to? We should do another call. Let's do another call. Let's do another All call. Right. All right. All right. Let me. Let me and while he's setting this up, can I ask you guys? Have you seen the 2002 Crossroads with Britney Spears? No. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> I have because I'm a girl. Right. And I have lots of friends you know, with girls. You know what I thought was funny was um, the guy in that movie, Anson Mount. Uh huh. He went on to do Hell on Wheels. Ooh, that uh, Western. Yeah, uh, I've seen series. like three quarters of the first season. Dude, it's I watched the whole good. thing. So good. You would, because yeah. you like that stuff. Yeah, I love Westerns. 
Okay. No, I'm down. I'm totally down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. Holy shit. Right. No, but uh, Jack and Jill ruined Adam Sandler for me. I can't watch any of his shit anymore. Basically, mm-hmm. yeah. that's my life now. I went back to watch like Happy Gilmore and, and Billy Madison. I was like, fuck this guy. Maybe right? you know. I don't know. So but, I'm a huge supporter of the, uh, what is it, the vampire movies that he has? Hotel Transylvania. Mm-hmm. All my, all of our kids love Hotel Transylvania. And so Adam Sandler now is a vampire. That's yeah. it. I guess you blah, 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 he's not now. writing Basically. or directing. <laughs> I'm over it. All right. So I'm still waiting. So you can What say, are you waiting on? I'll call in. I'll call in. Well, Neil, don't you have some weekly call weeks? Call in, call in. Oh, yeah. Call in, oh, call in. Part of the nerdified news of the week here. All oh, right. So this is just breaking today. I decided to just use news from today. So Today? From today, yeah. This just did. So there's two. Oh, one of them Prince. I'm not too certain because I'm hearing conflicted reports on it, but the other one is 100% certain. So <laughs> the producers slash writers of Game of Thrones, yes. David Benioff and D.B. Weiss, are no longer doing Star Wars movies like Ooh. they were planned to do. So I guess it's because they have so many projects on the go like, they have another HBO series called Confederate coming up, and it's about, like, a second American Civil War or right. something like that. Yeah. And they have a bunch of other things on the go. I can't remember what else they were doing. But, yeah, they're no longer doing Star Wars. So a lot of people can breathe a sigh of relief after the disaster that was uh, season 8 of Game of Thrones. Do you really... Do you really think it was a disaster? It's still I think a source they needed. I think I they mean, needed I, an extra season. It's still very season. new. It's very tender. I, I think they need Deep like cuts. another season. I haven't even season. ripped the bandaid off yet. Deep cuts, man. <laughs> and uh, the second piece here, um, it's reported that the next uh, Game of Thrones related series or spinoff is a prequel show called The House of the Dragon. Yeah, it's based on the Targaryens, yeah. right? So right. I'm pretty interested in that. It's based on this, uh, I think, like uh, info book that George R. Railroad Martin produced or wrote called uh, uh, "Fire and Blood." So yeah. I guess it like details like the Targaryens' uh, history, and I'm kind of hoping that this series deals with an event in the Targaryen history called the Dance of Dragons. Yes, because that would be fucking epic. Yes. <laughs> I totally am with that 100%. We're huge Targaryen fans. And also, my with my like my mom's obsessed, right? Like, totally obsessed. She even has, like, the eggs and everything. Yeah. And I just want to know everything. Family history, everything. I feel, I feel like they should have a separate series for each house. Yeah, that'd be great. Right? Yeah. But starting with Targaryens is perfect. It is. Especially, like, it'd be good for the fans that felt... Uh, uh, Daenerys was cheated at the end. Yeah, she was. And I agree that she was. I feel like, I feel like they should have had an extra season to like build up her turn. I feel like, uh, yeah, but you know, we can't even. Mm-hmm. We can't even right now. No, we can't. It's still, <laughs> we can't. It's still, the, it's still too fresh in our minds. It's been, it's been so long. Of a year that I almost forgot that season eight was this year. I just feel like there's always going to be more, and there isn't any more, and I just want to fucking punch people in the face. <laughs> I just like, want to walk down the road and be like, skoosh, skoosh. This is because I came to skoosh. Nothing personal. And not because it's you, just because it's over. Skoosh, it's personal, skoosh. but fuck you. Right? <laughs> and that brings it up too, where we still have to do wedding cake destruction situation. Yeah. So last year. I agree, and year. I hope, I hope, I really hope. Nice. I oh. hope we get some of that. I almost forgot. So Macaroni Panda had this also th- uh, a little bit here to say. Uh, they said, looking forward to tonight's podcast. Also a big fan of how one of the main aspects of your guys' podcast is mental health. Mm-hmm. I use a few of the techniques slash tips y'all mentioned in the last podcast about how to ground yeah. yourself when anxiety hits. Dude, that super rocks, because if we can tell you any which way that we use, that we've been told, and it helps you some way, 
to you know to ground yourself that is amazing mm. that's perfect yeah because yeah. a lot of the times people have said different things and i've said what helps me and it's helped them and that's just amazing that's yeah. amazing and isn't that like our, our goal right to reach out and like present you know ways to help others who may be going through the same sort of shit that mm-hmm. we're going through you know in our headspace and, totally. whatnot, yeah. and to like let them know that like you're not alone in this you're not alone not look at alone us we're this. a bunch of weirdos <laughs> talking about finger knuckles you're not alone absolutely not alone and i'm so excited and so glad that you emailed in and not only participated but said that something that we said helped you that's yeah, fantastic. We read that email earlier and we were just like super stoked. Because mm-hmm. obviously that's why we're here. That's why we're doing this. Great. All, All right. right. Um, so I'm going to try and make a couple calls here. Uh, hopefully they're ready. Um, Are you ready? So here we're going to go. I'm going to go. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to call uh, Amanda. Amanda Panda. Let's see. Cross your fingers. Mm-hmm. Cross your fingers. Hope you're still oh. watching. That's your phone. You're tired. <laughs> Oliver said he was trying to watch it. He dropped his phone and jacked it up. Well, he was on his bike. Uh, on his bike. Oh, no. dude. Oh. What is that? Drop my phone. Trying to watch and ride. Do not watch and ride. Whoa. That's not safe. What are you doing, brother? All right, so they're living his best life. <laughs> Riot no, in the water. There, there's no answer there, so let's try our next caller. All right, I, oh, I swear to God, we set this shit up. But... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she had to pee. Leave her alone. No, I'm not talking about her. I'm just saying, I, I set it up. Amanda. Nope. Our next one is Fred. All right. All right, Fred. <sighs> he had to warm up to this, so come on, Fred. Hopefully, he didn't warm up too much and. Right. Burn out. Get up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, doesn't sound like he's connecting. Where is he? I feel like that's not happening. Hello. Yeah. I'm gonna have no, hello. 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 Uh, that one, and then we have one more. Well, we have a couple, but Who? we'll keep trying. How do you um, have everyone's number? We're gonna call. We're gonna there. call. We're gonna call Monique. Oh. If she answers. Hello, Mo. I need Mo's name. My phone said hell no. <laughs> Hello, Mo. Any other geek stuff there, Neil? Oh, no, I don't really have much really else have a geek of the week, uh, uh, on the side of like those two news things. Let's talk about your costume. All right. right. What made you decide to go with Hopper? Are you a big Stranger Things fan? I'm a pretty big Stranger Things fan, and I felt like. Um, for myself, for somebody like, I feel Scary. like another thing that yeah. this show does really great is they have like a lead character not be you know like fit as like Captain America, right? right? right. So this guy from, from from the right. opening yes. ser- uh, episode, you, we see this guy. He this sheriff. He gets up, drinks a beer, he smokes. He has a fucking beer gut. He puts on his outfit and goes to work. Right. right. He's not like. He, no disrespect to any of these like fit actors, but like, I mean, like you said, he's he like is. an everyday man. Yep. So I'm like, why not? And he's just trying to freaking get it on, yeah. right? Get yeah. his life on every single day. And he's a fucking hero. He's great. He's really, he's a really good character in I the series. I super love him. He's yeah. hilarious as fuck as well, too. And he doesn't know how to do shit. He just has, like, all this anger, too, right? He's <laughs> raising a daughter by himself. And he's just like, don't touch her. Don't look at her. Frustrated. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. Don't close the door. We don't close doors Two in this inches. house. <laughs> Two inches. Two inches. And he's trying to be respectful and kind, and he's learning his way. It's nice. Yeah, and, like, you know, this is, like, perfect for him, too. Like, he had a kid that tragically passed away mm-hmm. prior to the series starting and it's like 11 gave him like a new lease on life right. on being a parent he gets to try again <laughs> yeah. so he's trying to do it right it too right he has another lease on life so he's trying to do it and he's trying to do it right and then he totally screws it up yeah and you know, at, 
I don't know if I want to get into spoilers. I mean, the shows have been I mean, up if for you a few months. Watch the show, now. Are you living under a rock? <laughs> but like the cliffhanger regarding him has a lot of fans like really, you know. Yeah, the whole, really the into whole it. moving away thing, like yeah. it, it, I was choked up. You mm. guys, that season ended, and I was like, yeah, I I needed to be hugged mm. after that. Like I was, I didn't need a cuddle. <laughs> I was super sad, and um, obviously it's set up for a new and more fun, and there's more stuff coming on coming up. Yeah, I think they teased uh, recently that the new season is actually not going to take place in Hawkins. Yeah, that it's gonna. It's that basically the tease was like we're not in Hawkins anymore or something yeah. like that. So yeah. It's probably going to be. But what is the time there. period? Because judging by your shirt, mm. we're 80s still, right? Oh, well, yeah, we're still in the 80s. I believe what I've noticed too is that in each of the seasons, they kind of take place during like big holidays. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, yeah. Season two was like Halloween. Season three was obviously um, the Fourth of July. Mm -hmm. yep. Season one was uh, I want Christmas. Yes, I think. Yes, it was because so, they had they had their Christmas lights. The Christmas up. lights, yeah. yeah. And and she used her Christmas lights as a Ouija board. Right? Yeah. And the prevailing theory for season four is that it'll take place in Thanksgiving. Oh. So we're going with Turkey Day for this next one. Nice. nice. Yes. My favorite holiday now. Right, I want Turkey Day. I only say Thanksgiving because, you know, um, what's his face? Mike and Eleven were talking about plans for getting to, like getting together for Thanksgiving. So yeah. that's probably where it's going to go. Yeah. I think you're right. I think you're right. All Excellent. right, folks. So we have a call. All right. All right. Call so, it, call it. So this caller is uh, Selena. Yay! Sorry, I'm just so excited. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hey. Hello. You're live. Hey. You are live. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my. Right? All right. So we're having a couple things going on right now. We're, we're doing um, a Pennywise competition. So if you want to participate. Mm -hmm. Do you, you want to do it? Do you want to do you want to do your impression? You want to throw your hat in the ring? Yeah. You don't have to. You don't have to. No pressure. <laughs> no pressure. I took a couple looks at the video. I don't think I could do it. Yeah. Oh, right. oh no way. Here we go. Yeah, here we go. No. Okay. That's okay. fine. No, that's quite all right. But we do also have um, uh, you know, you can participate in your five favorite horror movies. What's your favorite top five horror movie, Selena? Um. <laughs> it's Hardy. We put you on the spot. It's, no, I was thinking, I was trying to think of it. I don't even watch scary movies. You don't even watch scary movies? No, but I can just think of one, maybe two. Oh, I did just watch Ten Lines. That was too good to know. So it, it, it? Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, it. Okay. Um, it's really good. Awesome. I went to it's so good. It's, it's, well, it's on my, it's my it's number so one. It's so good, so, right? <laughs> it made my list. Yeah. I love the story. Yeah, it's great. Um, all right, so do you have any questions? Do you have any What's comments? up, dude? How's it going? Um, pretty good. That's good. Um, how long have you guys been doing this for me? Um, now we've been doing it for about a year, right? Yeah, yeah, it's been, it's been a year. Maybe almost two years. Yeah, it's been oh, almost. almost two years now. We started our first podcast, Left for Good, back in, um, I want to say March of 2018. 18. 18, yeah. yeah, and we're leading into 2020, so. Yeah, so March will be a, a, wow, that's awesome. an anniversary as far as podcasting, but. Yeah. We probably realized um, probably about, what, four or five episodes in? That yeah. mental health and things like that would be important to us. Yeah. Also, not only just talking to friends, but um, like in our group, you yeah. know, it's something that's important <laughs> to us and it's something that we talk about a lot, but also we all have different things that are important or not even just that, but things we kind of have gone through that we like to share. 
And so we felt like yeah. we all had a little bit of something that we can talk to, to other people, you know? Yeah, it's a pretty um, touchy subject. A lot of people get pushed to the back burner. Yeah, yeah it's, it's definitely something that people tend to not want to talk about. And, and, like, it's, and, it, and it's really important for everybody to realize that it's you, you shouldn't push it to the back burner. Like uh, there, everybody, yeah. everybody is dealing with something, and everybody is dealing with uh, any sort of, of of issue that they're going through, whether it be suicidal thoughts, whether it be depression, whether it be anxiety, whether it be, you know, just stress, severe right. stress, induced anxiety, depression, um, medication, you know, or something, a trauma that you know, or something like that, you know, PTSD. something, yeah, PTSD. There's so mm -hmm. many different aspects of it and, you know, erasing the stigma and being able to bring it forth and talk about it, you know, and just not feeling alone is such a huge deal. Mm -hmm. I think too, it's just bringing to a lot of people too, is there's a lot of people are just to realize that they're, what they're doing to you and how normal it is to people to be going through this. Right. It is, yeah, it's, it's one thing that people like fail to realize that it's it's, it's an everyday thing. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. it, for most people, it yeah, most people don't even realize that they're going through a stressful situation and that it's triggering them or that it's, it's affecting them in a way that it is. Like it took me mm -hmm. this many years to realize what what, what my problems were with with with, with my situation. You know what I mean? Like a lot of people had their shit together to realize that they they went to therapy and they had this and they had that and they had this, and I I'm gonna be forty fucking soon, and I just finally mm -hmm. fucking realized myself what stress and what anxiety I have and what you know disorders that I'm going through myself, you know, mm -hmm. so it's it's it can happen at any fucking time and the realization can take long or you know you can you can catch it you know, sooner, but it really doesn't matter mm -hmm. as long as you understand that it's okay that these are real feelings. It's not, it's okay to mm -hmm. not be okay. Yeah, entirely. Mm -hmm. I think that here, you guys talked about that too is really helping me a lot. It's good. Yeah. <laughs> kind of doing that thing that I'm too hard for myself. Right. Like, I'm going to make myself feel like I'm okay, like I'm going to do what I can't now after everything that I've considered doing in my situation. Like, everything at present is really good, but my thoughts and things that I've gone through was pretty fucked up. And right. it started interfering with the happiness of the day. Right. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's, well, it's being able to talk about it more and yeah. think about it more. Helping. It's a good safety to let, let go. Right. Safety valve. Talk about it. Mm -hmm. And it, that's you. you know, yeah, and then you know what? That's what happens a lot is that a lot of people say things like let it go or you know, move mm -hmm. on and stuff like that. And you know what? It's mm -hmm. it's not exactly let it go and move on. Don't mm -hmm. ever think about it mm -hmm. again. Just freaking sweep it under the rug as it is more of coping, dealing and maybe organizing the mm -hmm. thoughts and feelings in your life and in your, you know, in a healthy way. You know what I mean? Like, you know that some things that have affected you, you know, younger life, middle life, the things that are, have come to you that have happened, trauma or otherwise, some things will never leave you. Losing a loved one, mm -hmm. something that's happened to you, something that's happened to your children, something that's happened to someone in your family, something that has affected you traumatically. Sometimes those things will never leave you. Yeah. And you know what? Having the understanding mm -hmm. that that's never, ever going to go away is one of the main things. Like, okay, I've come to the realization this has happened. This is never going to go away. How are we going to go about putting this in its place in our lives? Because obviously it's not going away, so it has a place, right? Understanding that something mm -hmm. has a place. And then now what are you going to do next? How are you dealing with things daily? How are you dealing with things, you know, on a regular basis? And how are you going to avoid having these things in the future for your children, 
for family, you know, things like that. And I think that a lot of the understanding and a lot of the coming to terms with situations, that's where the comfort mm -hmm. comes, you know, understanding the situation, not sweeping it under the rug, but understanding mm -hmm. and talking and having someone to do that with too is very helpful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. That's just pretty big too that helps me deal with my own anxiety. Um just thinking about the future, thinking about my son and my my husband and he's fifteen. And just trying to be strong for my kids too. Right. And you need to get right if you, if you want to be there for your kids, right? Mm -hmm. If you're not, mm -hmm. if you're not feeling at your top of your game, your kids are gonna feel that too. Yep. And mm -hmm. they're important. They definitely. Yeah. They're like little Hard sponges. To, yeah. mm -hmm. They just feel that. Really have to show those in order to. And that's the thing, though, is right mm -hmm. is cutting the stigma. If mom mm -hmm. is not okay, mm -hmm. that's okay. And you know what, if you're not okay, that's okay. Our son, he can express his feelings, he can cry, and we can talk about it and we'll get through it. If mom's not okay, let's talk about it. It's not go to your room or go do this and ignore it. We won't ignore things. And I think that in our family, that's how we deal with it, right? We don't ignore things, we move forward. How are we gonna move forward? And we're gonna express ourselves in a healthy manner. We're not gonna yell and scream. We're not going to be violent. We're not going to do those things because you know what? All it does is it hurts the other people that are around us. Sometimes you need to scream into a pillow and punch something. Let's make it a pillow, okay? <laughs> I'm not going to punch dad and he's not going to punch me or whatever. You know what I mean? But I know it sounds funny or whatever, yeah. but there's different ways to go about doing things that are healthier and safe and, you know, maybe happier. Let's talk about some stuff. And maybe it's silly. Maybe you had a thing and yeah. it's just making you feel horrible and you don't know why, but let's talk about it. And finding another adult sure. that's your safe place. You know what I mean? And I, I and I know with moms, as a mom, finding other moms to talk to helps a lot. And I, it's a lonely life being a mom, especially if you have a husband or someone, or maybe you don't have somebody. And you're the working mom and you're handling all the things. It's lonely. Finding other people that are in your situation or understand your situation is very helpful and like what a lot of the things too is finding that that first step to get into that zone where you find somebody who is in your same headspace who gets you and some and like the biggest struggle mm -hmm. is finding that place to find somebody else who gets you who's not going to judge you and you feel okay about yeah that's probably the hardest part i think feeling safe and getting to that yeah. point. Another important thing to remember. It is. It's like, even when you see a counselor, it's scary for me. Seeing a counselor? But I think when the person that I talk to, that's good. yeah. That's good. It's important to have a safe person, someone that you trust. Or an with. outsider, right? Yeah. Even if it's a safe person, it's mm -hmm. a safe person, but an outsider, someone who's outside the situation. Yeah. Somebody who may not be. Yeah. Like, Somebody who may not be in your life, like seeing a counselor about it, like mm -hmm. that, that, that helps quite a bit too, I find. Yeah. And you know what? Uh, someone else commented also that um, yelling, like I'm a yeller, or say say you're a mom who's a yeller and you're like embarrassed, right? I, I This is me, okay? I swear to you guys that our neighbors know our kids' names and they know, like, Oh my gosh, I probably yell, Olive, oh my gosh, or all of this and all of that like 50 bazillion times a day. And I'm always like, I always make sure that I end my day, like no matter what happened in the struggle or you're just crazed, some crap happened, just make sure you sit down and you apologize mm -hmm. or you say, gosh, today was a rough day, guys. I'm so sorry. Let's try to make tomorrow better. You know what I mean? As long as you acknowledge the situation and you try mm -hmm. your best, as a parent, that's the best you can really do. Yeah. If I think that not acknowledging the situation is the worst thing that you can yeah. do. Yeah. You were saying, Malcolm? Sorry. 
I definitely yeah. love him. You know, but I think the fear I'm a lot better. But I didn't think we had to get into the big one. I'm still feeling the fear. And so I had started telling me. Right. That's like the big thing that I've been working on. Well, as long as you acknowledge it and you understand it, you're okay. Yeah. Because it's, it's, the, it's, it's, yeah. like, it's like, it's like, it's like any form of like struggle that anyone goes through, right? And don't beat yourself up. Yeah, but part of it too is it's a cycle. It's like how I grew up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, it's what you know. It's what you're conditioned to. I'm not trying to make you in a bad situation or anything. It's just, that's how it's going to be. Yeah, entirely. That it's important to remember amidst all this that uh, if you don't talk about these types of problems and you let it carry on too long and you bottle it up and you stuff it down and you try to pretend there's nothing there, it will start to manifest itself physically yeah. in physical health problems. You know, people get ulcers, people get back pain from, from, from stuff like this. You can have a heart attack yeah. from being angry all the time. I have a family member who was always angry, angry about everything. Every time I talked to him, he was complaining about something, bitching about something, right? And he ended up in a hospital mm -hmm. with heart problems. I sat there with him all night while he was in the hospital. And it was just because he was so angry, he had pent up, he was just always tense, negative, right? And, and it takes its toll on your body after a while. That's how I would. Yeah. And it was sense to hear that too. You know, I've been through a lot with my health yeah. in the last few years. I've had um, my gallstones removed, or my stomach removed. I've had appendix cancer. I've had like five major surgeries on my body. And I could. Well, they say too, like, right? it took me a long time to realize it's yeah, it's stress and, and your emotions play deep cuts in your health. Yeah. Big time. Your mental health. Big mental time. Health. A, lot, a big one is back problems, man. Yeah. People get back yeah. problems because then, you know, it's a whole metaphorical thing, carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders. It's, right. it's, yeah, it wears you down. There's a lot of truth to that. It takes its toll on you. Another, you know, people lose hair. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. the whole thing about being so stressed out, you're tearing your hair out, that literally happens. Like when your stomach hurts because of the stress or anxiety, you yeah. feel nauseous or your yeah. stomach hurts. Or like you said about your hair coming out, all of those things are complete signs of stress, anxiety, depression, all of those things. It's your body telling you, if you're not listening to your emotional signals, it's your body giving you physical signals. So, I mean, when you have those gut instincts, when people say, trust your gut, trust your gut, it's it's your body telling you what's up and i think that everybody needs to pay more attention to their feelings if you have a feeling about something don't be embarrassed or ashamed or you know just pay attention and it, it, talking and 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 feeling it's not embarrassing it's not weak it's absolutely strong because you're keeping your body and your mental health strong and the people around you can see and can feel that I was terrified of this thing called to just to see the company for the rest of my friends and the rest of the thing that you guys have in your mind. I was trying really hard not to do it, but I kind of forced myself. I think, I think it's important to I'm I glad I did. I'm glad you guys are doing it. You guys are people. Yeah. A lot of the big thing to us, too, also, and you guys know how I am about sugar and cakes and all that but diet and exercise mm -hmm. and exercise is giving you those endorphins right and obviously where we live it's harder to get the sunshine that we need but getting endorphins from exercise and physical activity is very important for your brain vitamin D. but also not having sugar erasing those things in your body and your diet because those things are eating away at your nerves and your brain and all that. When we when we go on our no sugar situation and we take away that, we feel better. We sleep better, our brains function better. And of course, you guys know me, that's the worst thing I could possibly say. <laughs> sugar, no sugar, I'm the worst, don't listen to me. 
But honestly, cinnamon buns right now. See, <laughs> and it's good for treats and special occasions and stuff like that. But we got you guys. We don't realize how much sugar we are taking in every day. And I'm not a scientist. I'm not a medical professional. But honestly. If you have gone through any type of diet situation, think about how clear your head has been. The way you think and the way you function. And things are just, I feel so um, like less sluggish and stuff like that. So honestly, keep Num Nums for special events, guys. It's not an everyday situation. <laughs> <laughs> but for mental health, sugar, seriously, sugar is something that's like, it's it's very, it's detrimental. You'll notice that it, when you're, when you, make the conscious decision to stop using sugar mm -hmm. that you will get withdrawals it's like a drug the it symptoms is. are like a drug you will come down and you will feel depressed yeah. and miserable you're gonna feel like what's the point and right? for and us ladies right we're like we feel all sluggish and crap and what do we want we want chocolate and we want freaking what fries and gravy right we want soda and pop or whatever we want ice cream it makes us feel better <laughs> and it's like the opposite of what we should be doing. We should be caring more for ourselves. That's right. <laughs> All right, Selena. So well, I just want to thank you for uh, calling, it, uh, taking our call. Being oh, yeah. brave. Thanks, yes, bro. Thanks for sharing. Yes. Yeah, thanks for being it. brave. We, we appreciate it so much. So, uh, and you, you guys, have... you can message no anytime, Selena, if you want to talk to yes. us. And message we're us. totally here for you. We're yeah. your safe people. Yes. We could be your safe people. Whatever you want. Okay, thanks guys. All right. Take Have care. a good night. Enjoy Take those care. cinnamon buns. We love right. you. <laughs> love all around. Good night. Good night. Good night. All right. That was good. That was good. It's a little hard to understand the, the call quality. but We'll figure it out because sometimes that happens with yeah. the phone and the speaker situation with the laptops maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we we'll just use the actual phone numbers. Yeah. Uh, the whole Wi-Fi thing is a little yeah. sketchy in and, some and places. As iffy as it was, the, the subject was still there. Yeah, totally. We, we still understood like what what she was saying and where yeah. she was coming from. Right. Right. Yeah. She got her point across. We got yeah. our point mm -hmm. across. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Um, so let's move along. Um, mine. <laughs> Are you ranting now? Okay. Duff said. Right. Duff said. Duff, Duff said. rants. Let's hear it. Right. This is a good one, guys. It's ridiculous. All right. All right. So uh, the more recent part of the, the Duff said was uh, a couple days ago. Um, no names, of course. I'm going to respect the assholes in the world. And that's <laughs> perfectly fucking fine to do that. Um, so a couple days ago, I was on a, on a buy and sell, and I was looking at uh, and a couple of different things. One of them was a TV that was advertised with a stand. So instead of, you know, opening it to the public and asking the question, I messaged the person and I asked them what the size of the television was. Uh, this gentleman's first response was to call me an idiot. He said, what are you stupid? It says in the ad. So I was like, wait, let me look at it because I, I messaged a few people, so I went and looked back on which one he was actually, you know, advertising for that he was selling, and there was absolutely no fucking indication of the size of the television in his ad, mm. whatsoever. Right? So me being the person that I am, if you're rude to me, I'm gonna be rude back. Mm. It's a tit for tat, it's a fucking eye for an eye. I apologize. It's a little bit. Uh, a response for a response. Uh, the better, uh, better me would have thought a little later not to respond the way I did, but I did. So throughout the conversation, it ended up being me being more polite and me telling him to have a great day, mm -hmm. have a well day. In the end, I don't give a fuck, mm -hmm. right? But that's not my problem. My problem is I was an absolute stranger, and I was asking a very simple question: whether I saw, recognized. Or whether it was there or not, there was a simple answer to this question. And instead of just giving me this, or there was a simple answer <laughs> to this simple question. And instead of just giving me the simple answer, he was rude. And like outright rude. He, he jabbed at home and heart. He jabbed at my personal self without even fucking knowing me. 
Straight he, up. He, 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 and one thing to be rude is he was rude towards my intelligence. Yeah, he was like... That, and that's one thing that irks me the fucking most. Oh, dude. All right? You can be fucking... You can make fun of my looks. You can make fun of my dress. You can make fun of anything about me. Don't call Chris stupid. Don't ever fucking call me stupid. Don't don't because make things jabs at him acting like he's stupid. No. he's not stupid. No. No. And I am not. And I was like, so talk to me. Totally. That's my rant. All right? Be fucking excellent to each other. I'm always telling everybody. Be excellent. You don't know. know. You don't, you don't know the next person and what they're fucking going through. I don't know what the guy was going through. So, in the end, I was still a bigger fucking person. I told him to have a better day. He did. He said be good. Or no, he said be well. I said be well. And I genuinely fucking meant it. You know what? I, I did. Because I didn't know I don't know what he was going through in those days. You know? He even, he even went to go beyond and say that he fires people like me every day. He was like, I fire people like you every day. And I'm like, and we're like, why do you even have to what? say that? Why? Why? Why was that even pertinent to fucking bring up? I don't care. You know, I was asking you about your television, your television was size. All you had to tell me was that it was 43 inches. Because that his, was post, it. his post did not have a size on it. No. So, that's, that was the recent one. Um, that was crazy. a, that was a more personal one. Um, so just, just actually just be fucking excellent to each other. Totally. You know what I mean? Good treat friend. each other. Treat each other like you would treat each other like you would treat a loved one. I mean, I That's answer it. the same question every day about fifty million times a day, all day. I answer the same questions every day. But you know what? It's because a lot of people who are making orders don't know the answer to these questions, mm-hmm. and that's totally fine. It's my job to educate my customers. It is my job. And you know what? I'm just gonna keep being excellent. <laughs> Very excellent. You don't, you don't necessarily have to be friendly, but just don't be a piece of don't shit. Be yeah, don't be an asshole. What's the point? Yeah. You don't have to be like you don't have to be nice. You just have to fucking be it's a simple fucking answer. Be professional. Give, be nice. The, give the fucking simplest solution solution to any fucking question that you have. I, I you I you, I'm sorry, motherfucker, but <laughs> here's the thing. Here's the thing. I work with you and I may fucking hate you. But you'll never fucking know it. No. Because it's not important. It's not important for me to express my feelings that way towards you if I don't like you. Because Christopher is a grown-up and a professional. It's just you, right? Being a grown-up. Tolerating yeah, the person you we just do want. That every it's day. Like, too many times I'll see people that will just be like, they're grown-ups. You can tell they hate somebody. And it's like, dude, I mean, if you're going to be a grown-up about it, show that you're a better person. Don't be the, oh, well, I'm just going to be a bitch about it and just, you know, act like the way I am towards them just because I dislike them. No, just be a better person. It shows your character. It, it, it really it, that's it, a, it shows your character. It does. Right? Like, you're, you're showing your true colors to an absolute fucking stranger. <laughs> and that's pretty fucked up. Yeah. No. It's pretty fucked up that you were that much of an ignorant asshole that you showed these absolute true colors to a stranger Mm -hmm. you know what I mean so here it is be excellent give the anthem I don't need to hear your story my next one all right this one this one this one's not as deep but it's still a fucking hurt um so I was reading this article and in this article we had this person who is a so-called influencer. I have an issue with that, and we'll delve into that some other time. <laughs> <laughs> but it's called an, they're called an influencer. And whether it be Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, fuck, I don't give a shit what media form that you fucking influence people on. It doesn't matter. But this person had the audacity, the gall, and the absolute no fucking shame to ask a person for a service and a good for fucking free just because they're an influencer. Just because they were going to go to their establishment and then because they went to their establishment, they're going to film themselves and then while they're at their establishment, they're going to say, I'm here and we're going to bring more traffic. Fuck you in the first place for thinking that you're that amazing. Mm -hmm. You have to be like everybody fucking else in the world. 
and work and pay. Because I'm not asking for shit for free. You shouldn't fucking ask for shit for free. All right? Right? I, and so I fucking it live, me. I live in a life where I have to pay for goods and fucking services, and I have to work to do that. I think that's what bothers everyone else also. Mm-hmm. That's the issue with influencers is that these people, I mean, honestly, working mm-hmm. on social media and constantly doing shit, <clears throat> it is a lot of work. But it's not the same work as these other people who are in these labor jobs where they're asking for favors from, like hotels. Or other services. This particular instance was a hotel. Was it? It was a hotel, right? So they're right. like, I want to stay here for free, and I'll mm-hmm. talk about your hotel. They're like, um, I'm already a major train or yeah. chain of hotels. I don't need your influence for See, people to come here. It's different when, when these businesses reach out to you and like, hey, we'll give you this or that right. if you promote it. It's right. completely different if you're trying to be like, hey, I have this following. I want, I to, I want to do this. I want your service for free because I can promote it. Like, and I'm like, no. I don't know who you are, and that doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. I have my own marketing representation. Yeah, right. Representation. representation. You're not entitled to shit, so don't no. act like it. Exactly. Nobody's entitled to anything. Everybody's got to work for what they. Nobody gets have. a free lunch. No, we all have to work. So work. You know, like bust your ass. If you're an influencer, and you bust your ass, and then you're fucking actually truly fucking work. So only like green is people. Stop asking for people for free Don't shit. Don't ever forget. Don't stop asking for fucking discounts and stop asking for free shit because we all have to fucking pay for shit. Yeah, and it's annoying as shit when you somebody do it. Somebody has to pay for it. Something if has to be paid for it. Somebody exactly. else. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Exactly. That's nope. what he said in that email too. Yeah. The guy that owned the hotel. He was like, somebody's got to pay for the 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 maid. Somebody's got to mm-hmm. pay for the cook. Somebody's got to pay for the person that you know. Got to pay for the electricity. People that work at the hotel. Heat. You gotta pay for the receptionist who fucking says hi, welcome to our fucking hotel, Mm -hmm. and gets you in your fucking room. And somebody else is paying that cost. Exactly. Nothing is for free. No. And it shouldn't be. So it's just that attitude of entitlement today. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's really icky, and it's really irking everybody, so can you just stop? And and it's those people they make, those are the ones that are making other people feel like shit, man. Yeah. And everybody's working really hard. What's fucked up is that they can't carry it even further. They could have just ignored the situation and be like, okay, I'm sorry. Uh, I'll pay for my trip. No, no they went and they, they fucking shamed the shit out of the, the owner so of this the hotel. Opposite. Instead had the opposite of, of being you a fucking good, good they're person. like the worst. And <laughs> oh, that's the worst so too. Like when we have so, reviews so, too. So get we'll this. Have that. This was the nice little jab that I fucking loved Ugh. about the whole story was the hotel owner banned every motherfucking influencer to ever come to this fucking yeah, hotel. Yeah, don't come mm-hmm. here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Publicly don't ban them. Yeah. Publicly ban them. Good. If you're going to come here and you're going to film here, you're gone. Mm-hmm. Do not come here to film here for Instagram. Do not come here. Like That was the gist of it. He said, fuck you very much. Have a nice fucking day. Yeah, and then yeah. on honesty, we want our guests to have a private, comfortable stay yeah. without your ruckus. Exactly. So, good riddance. Exactly. So, that kind of ties in a little bit to why I don't like influencers and the term influencer. It's just icky. Mm-hmm. I mean, and that's how businesses flourish, and that's how things are happening in yeah. some ways. Sure. In some businesses. Sure. But not everything. Sure. And the people who appreciate hard work and sure. freaking, I don't people know. Go, people go to school to become marketing experts. Yeah, like me. That. I'm I did. sorry, but fuck you. For and you know what? I couldn't and... get a job for it after the fact because of mm. crap like this. Mm-hmm. Right? So fuck yourselves. Very so, much. That's his opinion. There you go. Boom. Alright. So I like it. So okay. do we have do we so we did the geek stuff. <laughs> and when we did we talk about any new geek news? Mm, well we were talking about Neil did, yeah. Neil, Neil did. did. We yeah. here call and then we had well, while, we're, our while we're here while we're here. Okay. Ooh. While we're fucking here. Are we doing it? We're gonna be doing some nerdy shit right now. Okay, because we need to talk about something nerdy. We need to fuck this. The F this is what I'm getting into. All right, we're not getting to F this just yet. We're gonna get into we the are. nerdy shit. We're gonna right. F this official trailer 2020 of AKA the Grudge. Yeah. The Grudge. The Grudge remake. And we've the been talking remake. about the Grudge tonight, so it's perfect effing timing. All right, here we go. Are you guys ready? Go. Are you guys ready? Are you ready?
It's, it's made from San Remy. It's a loose from San Remy. Nice. 44, do you see that? Yeah. I'm here about selling the house. Hello? Oh, water in the tub is never good. <laughs> this is Detective Muldoon. This is Peter Spencer. Something happened to me at 44 Rayburn Drive. When someone dies in the grip of rage. Someone was murdered at that house. Why did he never go into that place? Something never felt right about it. Uh, Looks like we got another one. Do you think that the body of your friend's related? Hello? I went to the house. Hello? Police department. What? Somebody followed me home. Mommy? What's going on? Oh, shit. Nope. Oh, get out of there. Hurry. Ah! This January. Makes that fucking sound too. I love that noise so much. Shower scene. Just hair. It's gotta be hair, right? Ah! Oh, the Grudge 2020 coming soon. I like it. I love it so much. I hope it's good. I no, really I hope do. It's good. I love it. Oh, yeah, you are. We're, we're watching yeah. it at home. We're not watching that shit. Yeah. We watch everything at home. No, well, we watch fucking um, what the fuck was it? Uh, it both times in the theater. That's yeah. not all six times in the theater. That's right. <laughs> no <six. laughs> All right. Since we're on the geek shit still, we're gonna watch the uh, Star Wars trailer. Ooh. Oh, that's that's probably me. Are you speeding back to us? Yeah, I'm getting way back. I apologize. We apologize for the screeching. Sorry Please don't for leave. The rears. <laughs> Star Wars. Uh, Rise of Skywalker. You picked the Star Wars. The, the Star Wars. Star Wars. The orange guy that's made of uh, metal. Okay. <laughs> sure, 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 sure. okay. Not the time Which one is this? Star about. Wars: The Rise of Skywalker. That's final right. trailer. Lucasfilm. Alright. It's an instinct. Pilot helmet on the ground. Ray running, jumping, grasshopper. Feeling. The force brought us together. Oh. We're not alone. We're not alone. Good people will fight if we leave them.
Can we just watch it on my phone? Let's just yeah. watch it on my phone. Yeah, let's watch it on your phone. All right, let's watch the Star Wars. <laughs> Uh, okay. Damn it, uh, Star Wars! It me in the hearts. No, wait for it. I'm gonna be in the theater. Because I'm here. down at my knees. Oh, we're gonna watch it all over again? Of course. We had some call-ins lined up, but... Uh, ah, you know what? We need to hit as our reoccurring topic, and that one would be Wish. Oh, Wish yes. List. What random weird Wish crap popped up on your yeah, feed? Right. Let's talk about it. I have a few that some people... They're all over the place. Yeah, they're, they're hilarious. They sent her email, they sent them to our inbox, they texted them. Yes. Yeah, I'm people gonna are loving this Wish here. List. Dude, Wish List is so, hilarious. The wish list. We'll we'll post them on our. We'll, we'll post explain them on our it. Yeah. Okay. Explain what the wish list is. Right. Go ahead. So wish is an app. Yeah, yes. it's an app. Uh, you can you, order crap from. You order anything you can think of from oh there, or they like they advertise to you the weirdest fucking shit out there for like dirt cheap. And I think that mine has crack pipes, and I'll tell you why. <laughs> mine has crack pipes because I always say. Can you get me some crack? And by crack, I mean energy drinks. Yeah. Or something like that. I'm like, or I say, I'm cracked out because I've had too much caffeine. And so, and so I feel back. like that's the reason why I have crack pipes. And you know, if you're getting crack pipes on Wish, you know. Yeah. If you're getting crack pipes, you know why. Okay. So, and there's just like random crack. other things. Like, I look up wigs a lot. And so, Wish <laughs> will pop up wigs, like random colored wigs and stuff. And our anime things or uh, Rick and Morty. Mm. So fun things that I'm into. And because you know the freaking Big Brother is listening and Wish will pop up. So that's why we're asking people, what's the weird crap that's popping up on your Wish? Mm. So go. All right. So um, I have a few things here from a couple of listeners and from uh, Chris himself. 
So this was shared from, I'm going to try to show it to you guys here. Uh, we're just going to refer to this one as uh, from Papa Morgan. Papa Morgan? <laughs> uh, sent from my dad. See. See so, uh, oh yeah, I'll show you guys first. Um, this is what he shared and his thing was, what the fuck is this? Ooh, I, what is that? I have Some no type idea of anal what... speculum? <laughs> Uh, it schools, like, but like, like anal-ish. This is kind of what showed up. I'm pretty sure that has I to do with butts, guys. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> um, this one, there's a whole list of these from uh, Macaroni Panda. I'll show you guys. I was trying first. to remember what the name is. Like, <laughs> macaroni lasagna or something. <laughs> Smoke meth, beat whores, and hail Satan. Jesus. A T-shirt. Nice. And then there's because we were uh, designing our T-shirt, so it came up with that. Nicholas Cage sweats. This is like Joey right. Buttafuoco pants. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to wear pants so bad that has Nicholas Cage's mouth Fuck in your yeah. crotch? Oh, I love this one. Cinnamon toast blunts. Nice. I feel like there's people that have that shirt, yeah. well. T-shirt. All over print T-shirt. And then. Um, I'm assuming these are drugs, but maybe maybe they're supposed to be mints. Uh, birth control so pills. They maybe. might be mints. I yeah. hope they're not. They're little tablets pills. in uh, like a cellophane wrapper. Yeah, oh, I'm pretty sure it's ex looks like drugs. It's so, actually. Can you legally sell ecstasy on which? So yeah, we're well, gonna post the rest the of these left. on our page. So throughout the week, we'll share what people has sent to us. Yes. But I mean, it's pretty gnarly, oh right? This, Did you guys this, get me? Dude, you know what? I, I've seen. <laughs> I'm the only one that saying? doesn't get wish shit on my fucking Facebook. It's your not on it. I even I even I signed up for a fucking it. wish fucking like an account. I, I downloaded it. the app. I installed it. I talked to my phone. I was like, I want wish on my Facebook. Uh -huh. Nothing. No wish on my Facebook. Well, it's just has fucking not weird. Yet. No, that's fucking weird. That's fucking weird. Everything. Yeah. So yeah, send us your wish list. Yes. Shit. What pops up? Continuously. Post it. Continuously. Post it. Continuously. It. Yes. What's so up? We want to see so, the weird stuff. So sadly, sadly, we have to do this. Um, the winner of our fucking contest, because we're gonna end our podcast right now. Yeah. It's gonna be fucking. It's not sad. I'm fucking excited for Corey. Yeah, yeah. Corey, but, hello. Good Corey, job, Corey, Corey. Good job, man. Congratulations. That was a good Corey, impression. By default, it was awesome. Yeah. Your your impression was awesome, but you still won by default because nobody else fucking called in and right. did their impression. That's right. Right. I did, and I probably would have beat you, but I'm not allowed to be in Stop there. Yeah. And I'll just buy my own t-shirt. So what I do want to say, though, too, is also um, there's Corey and then there's Selena. Both participants who have called in to express something or have made an impression, you guys are getting shirts. So messages so we can get stickers, your sizes. Stickers. Yeah, stickers. Stickers. stickers yeah. with Everyone who participates. Everybody who participates gets a sticker. Yes. Yeah. The winner of the impressions gets a shirt. That's right. Yeah. Okay, That's so right. you guys so, are here. We're getting stuff. You're getting so stuff. fucking stay, stay tuned because we're going to continuously have these competitions. I won't say every fucking episode, but we'll be dropping it. So yeah, fucking we'll, just stay we'll, tuned. We'll post about and and it. even if you call, if you're going to call in and ask for advice, you yeah. get a sticker. You get a sticker. Yeah. So yeah. call in. Yeah. Join us. Fucking follow this goddamn noise. It's gonna be noise. new stuff every week. Yeah, right. Follow the noise, motherfuckers. My yes. weird anxiety crap is different every time. We all have issues. We're all doing stuff. It's gonna change every week. That's so right. here's right. our Halloween episode, guys. I hope that everybody has a fun, safe, and I don't know what. Halloween. Halloween. Right. Head over to have fun, guys. www.fspodcast.com. Go check us out. Check out old episodes of Left of Good. That's where those are going to be. We're going to be on uh, iTunes, mm -hmm. as long as iTunes is alive. We're on YouTube. We're YouTube Live. Mm -hmm. We post these videos to YouTube. Right? Yeah. Uh, Instagram. Yep. Instagram. F. This account. Correct? Yeah. F. This account. F. This account. F. F. This account. Hashtag F. This account. podcast. Hit up Instagram. Follow us there. F. This Check out podcast. Right. Twitter. F podcast, right? Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. F podcast. Up, right. Twitter. F podcast. F, F podcast. And then, if you just want to fucking message me, I'm. At, if you guys want go. shirts, if you guys want to support us, yes, and you want please to order support shirts, support us. Oh my gosh! If you guys have a favorite monkey, you guys see our photos, okay? Yeah. On yeah. our Facebook pictures, we all have a special monkey. We all have a different if you're monkey. into our different segments, you can order that shirt. If you want just an F this podcast shirt, F this. Yeah. You can hit us up. Inbox us on our Facebook. 
and email us. Yeah. You can order. We'll get your size. We'll send it to you. It's That's happening. Right. We'll talk to you. We'll We're talk doing to you about it. it. We are doing it yeah. right now. We're working it out. Yes. No matter your problem, if you can't solve it, F this. F we'll find out F how. F. F it. That's right. All right. F that shit. All right, listen, Mr. Jones. Let's do it. Go ahead, Neil. Shut her down. Shut her down. All right. Spell Peace out.